Hey guys, we're back. You've asked for it, thankfully, finally. Been waiting a long time for this. I know Eric has as well. For what? Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back yeah. movie commentary. Uh, we're yeah. back with a blind way movie commentary. Yes. Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Uh. Everyone's favorite Star Wars movie, except, except for you, mine. for some reason. <laughs> I know, Shane's is three. Oh, uh, you mean six or three? Three. I mean, this is three's a, my favorite. This is years of the original trilogy, right? It's, it's Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi is my yeah. favorite of the original. Re- Return of the Jedi is my favorite of the original. But I mean, I I don't know. I I guess there's seasons in my life where I've loved one more than Jedi. You mm-hmm. know, like I went through an episode four kick for a while where I was just watching it all the time. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, this scene, like this, is the one in pop culture that's supposedly the best. That revelation it's, is certainly I mean, amazing. Yeah. If you don't know it's about it, it's got a lot of references that crop up a lot in other pop yeah. culture. Yeah, I mean, dis- despite pop culture, it's my favorite. I just love, like, the... Uh, I mean, we'll get into it as we watch it, I guess, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, I'll defend why I think well, it's the best. <laughs> let's get you don't need to defend. It. Like, I love them all. So. This is my favorite as well. Yeah. yeah. I, I figured that for Rick. Yeah. And Calvin. This is what I expected. Rick just it's goes really to Metacritic me. and says, you know what? I think this is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's really <laughs> close for me between five and six, personally. Yeah. Really? <laughs> all right. Well, let's get into it and start this, and then we can talk about why it's our favorite or not. Yeah, so Calvin, where are we so people can sync up at home? We are watching the American Blu-ray version. Yes, indeed. Uh, we are right at the last perceivable frame of the Lucas Films logo. Yeah, so we've j- we're at the end of the 20th Century Fox and the da 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 Is there like a second thing on here? No, we're, we're about ready to just burst in with the Star Wars. Yep. Yeah, it's the Star Wars thing. Yep. Well, before that, though, it's going to say... A long, a long time, time ago. Yes, and it exactly. Got far, far away. <laughs> All right, Indeed. so last perceivable frame of Lucasfilm logo. Let's yep. do it. If we're going to start in three, two, one, play. Long time, long time ago. ago. All right, any of you guys see uh, Empire in the theater? No. 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 Um, well, the uh, special, special edition. edition? No, no, I didn't get to see that either. I, I, I saw four and six. <laughs> really? I didn't yeah. know they, they were. Uh, they were coming back out. Oh, okay. The only movies I saw in theater were episode one, episode three. Yeah. And then episode seven and eight. <laughs> I, I only saw two. And Rogue One. And How did you not see two, Aaron? I don't remember what happened. I was a kid. I didn't have control of where I went and what I did. Like, I didn't have a car. I didn't have a car until uh, episode three came out. Really? That's one of the first so, movies I walked to from my cousin's so, house. And yeah. I, I must not have been playing baseball. I must have been playing basketball at that point because <laughs> there was no home runs in basketball. It was like, well, yeah. every, every, every free throw I make. No, nope, they didn't care for that. No, I mean, <laughs> my mom would drive me to the theater, give me 20 bucks, and come back five hours later, and I've seen a couple movies. Yeah, my dad would like. And I'd be I, by, and for this day, I saw it twice. Nice. <laughs> huh. Yeah, my, my dad would be like, we'd be like Walmart. Yeah. If you know anything about Marietta, it's far from the movie theater. He just pushed me out of his truck. Here's 50 bucks. We'll be back on Sunday. Yeah. And I'd be like, walk on Pike Street. Yeah. Yep. What day was it? Uh, it just depends. Tuesday. Sometimes it's a school day. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's a school day. I'll be September. back on Sunday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes it's no. like Thursday. I, uh, I only saw. Um, Seven, eight, and Rogue One and Solo in theaters. Gotcha. I haven't seen the prequels in theaters. No, yeah. because we were poor. I've seen gotcha. every single one except the fifth one. Did yeah. you go with us to watch Episode One, Three? No. Okay. I went. Mm-mm. Yeah. That was I good. wish we would have been more. Cause I'm like, man, I'm gonna see all these in theaters. It's gonna be great. Yep. And uh, then Disney and bought Lucasfilm. And, then they didn't and I heard more Two and Three were so much better than One That's as well. What I heard Two as well. Yeah. So sad. Maybe they'll re-release them in theaters again. Maybe with, so, maybe with Skywalker coming out, they'll have all of them. Uh, we, we, well, could maybe. you imagine going to the theater? You just watch all of them. I would do that. Look how great I, this looks. I might just do that anyway. These little probes coming out. Yeah, hell yeah, man! I mean, granted, we They're are like watching. Antibodies. We are watching a remastered version. Um, yes. Yeah, this is gonna have all the different changes and stuff they've done. Yeah, which I mean, uh, people like to think that there's not a whole lot in here other than like the Emperor scene and stuff like that. But there's actually quite a lot, especially when it comes to just the visual effects. The quality general. of life. Yeah. Like a lot of it is what they call it garbage mats, where these just big blocky artifacts around yeah. different things. Like the room is all gone now. <laughs> And, like, it's very apparent in the beginning of Empire for me, like, when those probes are coming out, when you watch the original on there being, like, just a box and a picture and a tile floating over something, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's all been fixed. Well, one of the biggest things I remember is later on we'll see, um, well, we won't, we won't see. It's during the uh, the Walker fight, uh-huh. you know, the AT-ATs, and you can see through the cockpit, like, frame. Yeah, you the can frame see is the transparent. AT-AT and stuff walking, mm-hmm. and then later on in the special edition they change that. And then, yep. of course, they change more stuff later on. Look at that. Adding puppetry. more CGI. So these Tauntauns are native to Hoth. Yes. Like, do they have any natural predators besides the cave-dwelling creatures? <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's a whole ecosystem, but oh, we yeah. only see a couple. Now, I believe that the face has been changed a bit. It, the the eyes will kind of move and stuff in the Tauntaun for mm-hmm. the Blu-ray release. So th- this right here, looking at Mark Hamill's face, is this 
got to be before his motorcycle accident, right? No, the, uh, he has makeup on. They're yeah, covering has, it up. It's yeah. very apparent yeah. later. Yeah, yeah well, is. they, I think... I know the there's Wampa. some stuff where it's very clear because it was definitely right after. If uh, I recall, it, wasn't the Wampa thing added in because of yes. the motorcycle yeah. fight uh, or Sh- accident? For those that don't know, Shane's referring to Mark Hamill got a very bad face kind of like wound. He, he yeah. fractured his, uh, his between, facial bone. Between the last his orbital, movie and this movie. Whatever. So lobe. if you notice, the face is, has a little bit of CG touch up to it a little bit. Maybe, yeah, that shot kind of. Um, anyway, so yeah, Mark Hamill got hurt in a car accident, so the Wampa scene with him getting scarred in the face was added to this movie to uh, to make sense of why that happens, and it's one of the first things that happens in the movie, so we don't have to cover up his face too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the Wampa's a great creature too. Like yeah. I don't know if they, I don't know if they were like, you know what, we need to create a creature to make this work, mm-hmm. we make a giant abominable snowman monster thing. Yeah, but it's. In the, in the original version when you didn't see like anything yeah, you yeah. Just it saw was, the arm. It was yeah. kind of scary you know like yeah. man what is it what does it, it look was, like oh my god it's one of those things where like you know uh, having restrictions causes you to have more creative options you know and then if you can just see the thing it's cool to see the thing but you kind of lose the mystery so when they added in the Wampa for the special edi- edition you're like oh okay I mean I, I personally like it you know because I just want to see more but I can see why some people yeah. might not like it I mean like for it. me I was a little kid and I was like oh However, yeah. however, the thing is, is like people say that, uh, oh yeah, you know, the adding the Wampa thing and like you know, then Irvin and Kushner never planned for that. You know, Lucas came in and ruined his thing. And when you th- and then then you hear that Irvin Kushner had an entire scene when three PO unleashed Wampas yep. onto the stormtroopers, yeah, and they were like massacring him and stuff. And Kushner's like, no, I wanted to see the Wampas. We just couldn't. Look stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. They yeah. were pretty hokey looking. So that's an example yeah. of some people being like, huh, you know, kind of chuffing at the special edition being. Like it's actually a little closer to what they wanted in the. Well, first it's fu- it's funny a lot of things that he wanted and put in there later. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, and that's most of what the uh, special edition stuff has been is mm-hmm. things that he originally wanted. Yeah, but just they couldn't get. It's to not work new shit. Like twenty years time. later, where he's like, you know what? Yeah, I yeah. want to change that. Let's change it. No, it's more like let's make this more the vision I had mm-hmm. initially. Although that for, happens for in Return of the Jedi for one thing. It does. <laughs> yeah. It definitely yeah. does. I mean, yeah. I'm, just, yeah. I'm just saying, there's, it, this is not the moment to invoke that. Yeah, but it does happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the Wampa Unleashed thing kind of makes me think of Shadows of the Empire. Because I remember going exactly through Echo why. Base and stuff. Yep. And it was just Wampas inside cages or yeah. inside the like, room. It was, it was inside of a door with like kind of like a symbol on it that kind of had like a radioactive look to it. Yeah. And that's what's in Shadows of the Empire. It's yeah. exactly what they shot. So oh. Shadows of the Empire just modeled it off of the cutscene. Yeah. Han Solo was the guy. Like when it came to girls, I was trying to be like in eighth and ninth grade. He is the guy. And then I didn't. We need. I, I didn't start doing that well until much later in my life. Sure. Like, in, like you know, like junior senior year like his yeah. attitude where he doesn't care and he probably know you know what i mean he walks he's the first to walk away look at him yeah like so long princess i love watching this in like hd and you can really see like the faces of the background characters like man yeah this was shot in the 70s <laughs> like look look at that guy <laughs> <laughs> look at his hair look at his hair there's a lot of awesome mustaches and stuff yeah I like that they filled it to make guy. it seem like a place, but I love these people just trying to squeeze in behind. To around, like, don't yeah. bother Harrison Ford, but yeah. you're behind. Make it look like you're busy. You know, I, I, you can just kind of tell there's something different about, like, people being on set, like, background and stuff. Because the first one, people didn't think anything of this movie. They thought, nah, it's just a silly space movie. Yeah, I'm a god doing this, <laughs> you know? And now, after, like, the huge success of that one, they're making this one. People are like, all right, this is a serious movie. So... Like, it's just treated better. The lighting is better, like, especially mm-hmm. when we get to... Like, look at 3PO. The way that he's, like, dirty and stuff like that. Like, the first movie had a lot of problems with reflections of the camera on 3PO. Right. Because he was too shiny. And they're yeah. just treating it better. But when we get to a Vader scene, like, just pay attention to the lighting on Vader's helmet in this movie. It's amazing. And it never it never gets better than this movie on with Vader's, like, lighting. Definitely. Like, Return of the Jedi, I feel like, has kind of shitty Vader lighting. And they also treated this movie with a lot more secrecy than they did they for, like, did. you know, the last one had no one knew what the hell they it did. was, you know? Yep. Then they yeah. come up with this one here, and they had to make sure there was no leaks happening, especially mm-hmm. for the big twist at the end. So th- there was a lot of, a lot more taken seriously into this movie. Look at that Wampa and trying to get under control. The Tauntaun? Yeah, Tauntaun, yeah. yeah. Tauntaun, yeah. <laughs> didn't George Lucas, like, fund, like, the whole movie? Like, didn't he want yes. to avoid studio stuff? So, well, like, he funded the first one. The first one, yeah. In, well, uh, no, especially thought, in the first one, but in this one as well. I thought this one as well. This, this one. Like, he used funds from, like, actually, the last movie. And, uh, he had to leave the Director's Guild of America and the Writer's Guild of America because they mandated that you put credits at the beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. And he said, that goes against everything I want to do here. I'm trying to make a Buck Rogers my own thing. Mm-hmm. 
So he left those and he funded everything himself. But I'm so and, glad and he because, did that. And because of that, like some of the actors he wanted to work with couldn't work with them because yeah. they're associated with these <laughs> unions. You know? It's, yeah. I think he funded like 18 million dollars back yeah. in, back at this time. And you know what's really interesting? Like especially now that we, he has sold uh, Lucasfilm to Disney, due to the Writers Guild of America. It doesn't matter if you've sold your rights. You like those things still protect you a little bit. Like you are still you still earn from characters you create even after you've sold rights to them. You're you're meant to earn a little bit. But because he didn't do that, he earns nothing from that. Right. Which, you know, he's so not hurting at all. Of, oh, hell no. He got four <laughs> billion dollars and he still owns <laughs> all of the studio space. Like he's the owner of the buildings. Disney pays him. To, have to rent the, the studio, studio whatever he bought from them <laughs> there. <a> good <laughs> you know? Well, he gave like half it to charity as well. No, yeah, he did. <laughs> also, build his low income houses in yeah. Chicago. Yep. Also, I also read that based on like how well this movie did and him putting all the money in, he mm -hmm. also gave like good bonuses to like a lot of the people that worked on the yep. film for him to make it what it is. Yeah. A wampa would still be scary. Like, oh, I like no, it's even still them scary. showing it, it's still yeah, scary. I mean, I didn't I mean it's eating a hunk of meat, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. Like a hip joint or something. Yeah. I didn't, I mean, I grew up on special edition. It came out when I was like eight. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like it, for me, I wasn't like, what the hell? You know? Yeah. Yeah. I had yeah, that the original until much later in life. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. you just see an arm and a I leg and noises, which is interesting. Yeah. But I believe this scene here, maybe not. There's one of the scenes here that they like, it's a reverse shot of mm -hmm. the force being like pulling the lightsaber, but I yeah. can't remember which one it is. Ah! <laughs> I, I want to watch and see if I can find it it's pretty well with, with it being filmed and shot like I, years I, apart I, it bothers me when he holds it on the so low on I the know. handle <laughs> i didn't start i started watching Rooney kenshin i kind of started accepting it yeah yeah what were you gonna say rick i was just gonna say the lightsabers look much better in this than they do in episode yeah. four yeah they do yeah a lot they actually have like characteristics I, how's this kind of, how's this done that just is clay? stop motion stop motion yeah yep. Yep. great stop motion too like high it frame is. uh yeah it didn't look stop motiony yeah. I mean, it is a tiny bit, but like yeah. on the level of like King Kong, you know, where they just do more frames per second. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas has like what twelve frames per second. You know, it's meant to though, yeah. Does anyone know where they filmed this? Um, well, Tunisia. This, it looked like a set. No, no Tunisia. This desert. is studio, uh, but. Like all the stuff like outside with the real yeah, snow. The snow uh, I mean, it's on location. I have no idea. I where can't it remember. Is. Yeah, but Fuck. I can't remember the name of the place. But the story about it is like they got a hotel like up in the mountains and meant to take a helicopter really far out so they can get some good shots. But the night before, it blizzarded so bad, they opened the door to their uh, their hotel and shot it right there with the camera in the hotel shooting out because it was so covered with snow. <laughs> like shots like this. Like shots like this is just him walking down a street. In a mountain town. That's pretty cool. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, obviously, like that right there, like, you know, they've done some other stuff. But that right there is, even the snow is miniature, you know? Hmm. And it looks really good. Yeah. Well, I know, like, uh, they did a, like, George Lucas did a big donation to, like, the Norwegian Red Cross. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of, like, Norwegian skiing, like, rescuers yeah. are the people they use for, like, the big fight. Yeah. When there's a whole bunch of people against the at and stuff. So a lot of them, they, they offered to be in the film mm -hmm. if he had a big donation for the Red Cross. Yeah. So he did. Sure. I'm like, well, that's cool. So maybe it was up in, like, Norway. I don't know how, I don't know how snowy icy it yeah. is in Norway. Or anything I, I just don't know exactly what the country was that he was in, yeah. but they did fly to it, much like they did in, for, uh, for uh, Tatooine. Tunisia, yeah. I love in this movie you see Han Solo just go really out of his way and risk his life for someone he considers a friend. Oh, something yeah. you don't feel like you would have done in the He's done so much. Yeah, 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 already. First movie. Like with Leia, he's saying, like, you know, I don't really care all that much, but Luke? Oh, no, we're going out there. I'll see you in hell, bitch. <laughs> he mm -hmm. runs, you know? Yeah. Like, that's just loyalty because that kid stuck up for him, and then he came back to help him, you know? Yeah. And he's going to own two after this. And, I mean, we, you know, not everybody here has read them, but the comics that, you know, the, the, the comics that are canon that have come between them have had some great adventures with these three people, you know? Yeah. So... Like using that to contextualize, like yeah, they've had they've been through some shit by this point. Mm -hmm. They've ran the Vader once at yeah. least too as well. Yeah, right? Leia fought and a bounty Vader and a bounty that. hunter too. <laughs> you remember that book? Leia fought Vader over on that one. Yeah. Split in the mind's eye. That book yeah. sucks. <laughs> but I mean, keeping it just in the context of the movie, like Han risks his life, goes out there so dangerous for Luke, and then later in the movie, Luke sees that Han is being tortured and he wants to go help him, and the Jedi are saying, "No, don't do don't it." Do it. Mm -hmm. And he's like, Han wouldn't hesitate to help me. I'm not hesitating to help him. That's the right thing. It's, yeah. not the, it's not the Jedi way, but it's the right way. 
I really like that, like just in the in just in the context of the movie itself. You got Ben Kenobi here, man. Yep. And didn't he want to be killed off in the first movie so he didn't have to be in the next two, or in any future um, ones? Or did he just no, go enjoy the paycheck? No, I, and I, it was I, written that way. I yeah, that yeah, because right. I I think I remember like in the writing process, like nothing stopped. I mean, nothing really started up for Luke until they killed him they off. They killed Obi Wan. Yeah, yeah. He looks fucked up, man. Yeah, he, really yeah, he does. does. <laughs> he looks fucking his face. His face looks frostbitten cold, and shit. Bleeding. I love, I love Han's response here, where he just like, he just, dude, how effective <laughs> is this? <laughs> What's that? I, I've, like, I know there's been stuff written on it, and like <laughs> cutting them open and spilling the gut. You know what I mean? How effective is this? Uh, well, I mean, I you think the revenant's pretty close, isn't it? Y- you, yeah, they do that to a horse. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's insulation, yeah. and especially pre-warmed insulation, where Bear, you don't have to use your own body heat. Bear Grylls it's, did it to a camel in the desert. Yeah, I remember that. To a camel in the desert? Yeah. To stay warm in like, a night, or what? I think. <clears throat> was, or maybe it was to get out of the sun during, like, the hottest part of the day. Like, did, no he do this, did he do this intentionally? I never saw it. I just saw him talking about the Revenant moment and saying, I also did that one time with the camel. Hmm. Huh. On the outside. No, my favorite quotes. Yep. I love that shot with the saber and it just guts just <laughs> fucking air. Yeah. <laughs> Going down on a girl, you just say that. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> What's he gonna do with that hammer? I don't know. He's, He's nailing it. up a shelter. He's yeah. nailing it. We, we, uh, we, we see it later. He's making up some kind of like yeah, shelter, tent. Let's go fucking have go his back. Own knife to come I wanna see the point. inside of this shelter. The inside? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe also, he just wanted to use a saber. Like a heater and a cot. I love this song from John Williams here that's going to be playing when dun, these dun, guys dun, are dun, like, dun. yeah, I love it. It's such a classic video Star Wars video game track they use. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think of, like, Shadows of the Empire here when I'm on the train. Yeah, that's what I was thinking yeah, of. Yeah, or I'm fighting IG-88, and he's like... <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Snow speeders, man. Those things are so cool. I love those. I I mean I had the the vehicle and between that and the X wing those are the things I did the most played with the most because they had those flaps that would come up and they had the like the kind of like guns like really far out you know yeah fucking Rogue One man this is Rogue Two yeah I always thought Hoth was much more beautiful than Tatooine yeah definitely yeah look how happy he is with yeah. himself right. They're not dead. I mean, these are right, heroes. These are Where's heroes. Watch the he tent. Found See? them. There's a tent on the right. It's not a tent. It's just a mound of snow. <laughs> That's <laughs> the snow that hit Started them. To make an igloo. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got it too quick. Yeah. Come back later. <clears throat> I'm not done playing, Mom. Diaper Luke. This diaper Luke, man. Yeah. He's in the Vegeta tank. Yeah. Clear. I always imagine that shocks him. Like, yeah. what the? Fuck? That's what I think too. And it's like a. It's like when you tap on the like fish, and they're like. They freak out. Yeah. Don't tap on a glass. So, yeah, we got to give there a reason go. why Luke looks bad. It's yeah. kind of similar to, like, uh, Indiana Jones when they give you a reason why he has that scar on his chin, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And, yeah, in the third movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> they waited. <laughs> No, I think it's a decent enough thing to go through and rather than just like not dressing yeah. in, just like, what the hell? Yeah. What happened? Why don't they explain what happened to his car? How'd he get that on his chin? I'm not, I'm not uh, sure. Probably in a bar fight. They, uh, a, they uh, didn't reference that in Solo, did they? No, but they should have. They should have, like, yeah, they should have <laughs> given him like a little <laughs> scar in the second point. one. <laughs> Damn. A, uh, I believe he had it already. fell right? on him. Did he? I don't know. Did he? Yeah. I think he'd had it in Solo. He might have. <laughs> I love his looks. And the only thing he finds insulting is his the looks. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait a second. Yeah. Half what did I get? It's crafty looking. And a nerf herder. We were all nerf herders trying to find those darts everywhere after you shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> Tarting yeah. them all. I love how 3PO runs over there and gets the yeah. reaction. Uh, there's a lot of historical evidence that maybe George wasn't planning them being siblings at this point. Yep. So, you know. Yep. It's interesting to watch. Yep. I mean, original trilogy people right now are going, woo! 
Ooh. And then Pico people are being like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love the design of the probe droids. They're so much different than anything else we've oh. seen so far. I, I like the production. The, their map like glass things yeah, they have yeah. here. Those are really cool. Similar to the Avon base, like they had kind of like a green look to them. Yeah. Where here is like kind of like a blue, warm or not warm, but cool blue. It's like I mean, it's, it's like a screen you can look at, but you can also see through where you can see more yeah. of what's going on. It doesn't block or yeah. make it claustrophobic or anything. It's not really screen. It's just glass. Yeah. <laughs> To looking at it for something, Rick. It's important. It's so crazy cool. to, you know, when... Actually, I'll say that in a minute. How many I mean, of you guys had the toy that was like a pro toy like this? And you had a lightsaber and it shoot little, like, these little nerf circles yep. at you and you'd block it? I didn't have that. Never had oh, that. no, I didn't have that. No, I had an action it. figure that you pressed the button on top and it would pop off. No, like, there, there's one of these and it would make the sounds like... Dur, 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 yeah. dur, 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 and it would sit on a little, like, pole. Yeah. And you put it on there and it would turn and look for you. And then your, you had a lightsaber that had like an IR thing. Mm. And once it found it, you'd wait and it would like shoot this disc at you and you'd block it. No, I didn't That's have awesome. that at all. Yeah, that is really awesome. cool. That is awesome. Was it like when you were older or? That was when I was a kid. Okay. Like it, I, I feel like it had to be before episode That's one That's such came a out. fucking hassle just moving everyone, <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. Do you ever like, do you ever see toys in the toy store now and you're just jealous? Yeah, that this wasn't around when you were a kid. Sometimes, yeah. you know, so like, cool. God, sometimes, Damn. like the Transformer you know? toys and stuff. I'm yeah, jealous. this is a switch that's backlit that you can play in cars. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you had to buy like a thing, you like to strap to your head to play Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this, like, because you know, the first movie we see the never ending Star Destroyer. It's so big, and then this movie, the Star Destroyer is dwarfed, I know. But overshadowed <laughs> by the Super Star Destroyer. Yeah, well, and I but, also love too, like the way the movie opens. Yeah. The only thing you see is the Star Destroyer. Yeah. Like, there's no rebel ships or yeah. anything like that yeah yeah it's like, like a tone of like the empire the empire is still yeah. in control even though we saw their defeat at the last <laughs> yeah movie. and that right there was the first instance of the imperial march yep and i and i love just like the military feel and mm -hmm. that the way they view vader it's so much yeah. more prominent in this grand movie. master picel on the left there Look yeah at vader just <laughs> senses something and he's walking over Everyone's looking at him as he walks. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the lighting on his helmet. Yeah. So My good. lord. He's so obsessed with finding him. It's that is... Give them this look like yeah. you got to open your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I, I love, especially in the close-up shots of Vader, they, they light it in a way that it contours all the curves and it makes yeah. it look like like a piece of art. Sometimes, like in a shot like we just saw when he turned around, turned away, like, eh, they didn't put that much effort into that one, you know? Right. There's going to be movement in it. Yeah. But. <laughs> It's funny, when you're at Galaxy's Edge, Ray and Chewie walk around together, and at one point, they went up to this A-wing, and they started, like, trying to fix it, and, like, you know, she was like, no, stop, stop, and it's, like, it, like, blew up and was, like, smoking and stuff, and she was like, <laughs> <laughs> They're, like, great. really, like, 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 10 feet away from you, but you can't walk over to the A-wing, but you can see him doing it. That's, That's really yeah. funny. I love this droid. We see this a lot in Clone Wars, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That design. Yeah. I love just seeing the close up and like the rivets of the Falcon. Yeah. It just yeah. seems so real. Yeah, it, it does. It's different seeing it now too. After like seeing like Solo and like what yeah. used to be there, and you're trying to look exactly. at it like, man, how does it fit? And what works? Like Han has just stripped it down <laughs> from luxury <laughs> to <laughs> speed racer. You know. Yeah. yeah. He's taking the back seats out. And I love his jacket, dude. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the the best pin jacket. That's what it's called in the toy. I don't know why, because he yeah. wears the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> when we were at a Star Wars Celebration, they had like just really cool jackets like that. Yeah. Just uh, so cool. Battlegrounds. Dun, 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 dun. Look at these shots. Like that thing they're, is they're being so filmed cool. all independently and matted together. But that thing is so awesome. Look at the engine. So you know, cool. Love the orange. Ooh. And then the meditation, meditation chamber. Sphere, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? I just can't help but think of that the one viral video where yeah. he keeps opening closing. <laughs> My lo oh. 
So these shines here, what you're talking about, you like a lot? Yeah. The, the reflections off the helmet here? Yeah, I mean, just look like the silhouette, you, you know? Perfectly like, see. like the perfect silhouette behind yeah. them. But it's not like shining into the camera, you know? Mm -hmm. So does he need to be able to see him, or can he do it? Apparently not. <laughs> no, no, I mean, like, like, if there wasn't a video screen, could he still do this? Like, does he need to? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. Is it yeah. like the Death Note? I like, think he was calling. He, he might need to have, like, a connection. Hmm. Like, he needs to be thinking about him. I'd run and, off screen real quick. Being able to see what's happening to him live might help. I'd turn a computer off. Like, fuck. Yeah. No, Vader, no. <laughs> I, don't know. I would feel like Vader can do it, but he wants to yeah. see him, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. be punished. Yeah. And he also had to talk to Piat. Yeah, know, and right? it also, like, pushes, like, while he's choking him, you know. You don't want people to think he just choked for no reason. <laughs> he's a multitasker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, don't want, you want him to know why he's dead, yeah. not like, like he had an accident. Yeah, in, he just fell down. Well, in Return of the Jedi, there's a cut scene where Vader is going, like, Luke, Luke, and Luke can hear him while he's somewhere in space and Luke's on Tatooine. Yeah. You know, so we know that he can affect from that far away without looking, but... Maybe it's like a stronger connection if he can actually FaceTime you, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's his son as well. Exactly. And there's a similar thing here. It's not as far as that, but it's here on Bespin. Yes. I whenever. fucking love The Last Jedi. This makes me think of it. Yeah. I mean, the, the trench warfare thing mm -hmm. we got going yeah. on here. I mean... I love that that call droid is, like, camouflaged. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in the snow. <laughs> the thing that this movie does really well is, like... It, it it sets the stage of where everybody is. Yeah. And it, it doesn't confuse you that you're the, the mass distance that's happening, but we're firing from a planet yeah. through the atmosphere into space, and you just take it. You accept it. You yeah. know? Like, yeah. how hard that is to kind of visualize and to do it such a, in a such great way. I remember when I was a kid, I always thought she was like, Prepare. I am control, and I was like, was I, we're, "We're listening to you already. What do you want?" <laughs> I am control. Yeah, but that was such a half-hearted cheer. They just went. Nah, man, yeah. he's, he's afraid too. <laughs> oh, Dak. Like in the first, we'll see, buddy. Episode, this, we'll see. The star destroyer was like unimpenetrable, and in yeah. this, they've already shot one down. Yeah. Well, they haven't. They have the ion cannon. Yeah. Similarly powered to the TIE Fighters, right? Because those are twin ion engines. Matt? Well, and the ions, like, I know, like, in the road games and stuff, uh, the ions would, like, take out shields yeah. or take out, mm -hmm. like, electronics and stuff like that. They were kind of like an EMP. Like an EMP. Way. That's why it kind of has that weird, like, you know, fizzle thing it does when it hits things rather that than crackle. an explosion. Yeah. I mean, this song directly is the first uh, uh, level of Shadows of the Empire when you're flying around mm -hmm. as Dash Rendar in a snow trooper, uh, snow speeder. Speeder. Snow speeders are weird too. They are like just the way like it's like a speeder. Okay, it can't just do flips and they stuff. They also can't go into space. Yeah, they're only it's atmospheric. A, it's a speeder kind of thing, you know. Yeah. This this gotta be so scary coming out of the distance, you know. Yeah. I remember in Rogue One when uh, Baze and Ch uh, Chirrut, mm -hmm. they just turn so around. Like, in and this shot right here, out. you would see that AT-AT yeah. in that left like frame, yeah. and yeah. in the yeah. HUD in general. Yeah. So they they covered all that so up. You, in the, you would literally be seeing through right. the dashboard. Yeah. You could see but through all of it. People were so damn amazed they didn't notice <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. But what were you saying about Chase and? Well, just like when they were on the beach on uh, that that Scarif. on Scarif, yeah. and that thing just comes at you. It, it's one. I think it's one of the best shots of them. Sure. How yeah. imposing the thing is yeah. in Rogue One. A lot of the ATATs are stop motion in this as well. Oh, this is all stop motion. Yeah. yeah. And you got to remember too, they're shooting the snow trooper, snow speeders, uh, you know, in, a, in daylight scenario with like stuff around it rather than just space, which is really easy to do. Sure. You know, so they're doing so many difficult things at once and splicing them all together to make it incredible. You know. Yeah. And I just, I buy it, you know? The only thing that, like, still gets me sometimes is, like, in the first movie when the X-Wings are shaking up and down in the close-ups. Yeah. They don't do that in the, you yeah. know, the exteriors. Yeah. But look how good that looks, you know? Yeah, yeah it looks really good, yeah. See, I'm like, curious how, I was wondering how Dak got shot, because I always felt like he was flying towards yeah. at ATs, but then he got shot from behind. Mm -hmm. and I was like, what men. I mean, maybe. they could have just been coming around. Yeah, maybe. You know? The rear gunners are always the most vulnerable. 
Remember in Family Guy when Vader's doing this and the guy just puts a cup over him? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to see Seth Green's cartoon. Yeah. So, um... Oh, that's just a good shot right there. I love yeah. That. <laughs> I like Wedge. Yeah. You know, when I was a kid and I watched this, I just believed what I was seeing was real. Mm -hmm. And now when I watch it, I can see I can see the stop motion jerkiness. Yeah. But sometimes I notice it and sometimes I'm back to just believing yeah. it's real. And so yeah, looks really good right yeah. here. I mean, if somebody that's never seen Star Wars before watches it now, they're going to think, oh, this doesn't look very real. But I just, I have an innate, it looks so good. But between you know? the original and special edition, weren't there like little things added to like that scene in particular? I mean, not Like the this. stuff in the window, like when he's in the cockpit looks better? That's what Aaron said like three times now, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I love like, you know, we've seen a lot of explosions and things, but just the creativity of the choreography mm -hmm. of like this battle. Yeah. Is really interesting yeah and i mean you know with it just being snow in the background you still kind of get a sense of like where everybody is you mm -hmm. know i mean such a good scene in fight like how many times have they had it in video games and stuff you know yeah like how many times have you seen it parodied or mm -hmm. whatever yeah yeah it's the one they chose for the atari 2600 game right i mean i i Done this in Super Nintendo games. Yep. In, you know, Rogue One games. In the arcade. In Shadows of the Empire game. And, you know, like that hosting always reminds me of Cell's second form that sucks up Android <laughs> 17. Yeah. I mean, 18. God. And the first chicken walker. <laughs> a lot of people think the chicken walker shows up in ATST, shows up in Return of the Jedi, but there's a couple yep. out here. They were in the game, so I knew. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How'd he get that blood on his face? Did it just explode? I don't know. He, he Probably like happened. sparks and shit See, that happened. The weird thing that happened earlier, and people were talking, but uh, he calls on Wedge and says about Rogue 3, mm -hmm. and then they get him going around, yeah. and as he's going around, he's like, steady Rogue 2. And he's like, what? And then later on, this guy shows up. That was the one that found him earlier. Yeah. And they're like, all right, Rogue 2, you ready? And they're like, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. I thought, which one's Wedge? <laughs> Is Wedge Rogue 3 or Rogue 2? <laughs> what an effective shot. Yeah. Like, I just believe it. <laughs> Poor Dak. Yeah. yeah. He's young. But it shows, like, the average rebel, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, I even think without he the was force. in some of the Rogue games. Probably. I feel like I remember him, but I, I don't know. It's been a long time. Like the first Rogue Squadron or something. I mean, I remember reading the old Expanded Universe and Luke still thinking about, like, Dak sometimes, you know? Like, mm -hmm. even 30 years later. <coughs> I mean, it was his gunner. Goose. I, mean, I don't know what all jobs they had back there, you know? Like, okay, I understand the harpoon token. You aim it, you shoot it. But what else were they doing back there? I don't know. You know? Like, they talk about, like, I don't have a vector yet. It's like probably the same things that the protocol droids are doing in the X-Wings. Maybe. Probably, guess. like, a navigator. I got hit. Too, I mean, they're yeah. hitting buttons, fixing it and stuff. Like, secondary system systems backups. And yeah. <laughs> 3PO. <laughs> Just instantly <it> falls <laughs> over. <laughs> How the hell does he keep up, man? Shuffling feet, man. Shuffling feet. Look at that shot. You got three characters in the same screen doing that. It's so good. Yeah. Like, that's so it's scary. I mean, and that looks yeah. great, too, yeah. you know? So cool, man, right here. Then you get a real sense they of the They should have just had a whole bunch of guys doing this. <laughs> right? <laughs> They're not all so Jedi, much, man. <laughs> so much more effective. He's not a Jedi yet. He's a Jedi. Look at him. Well, he's got a lightsaber. That wow. means he's a Jedi. No, he has a great shot. Grievous has lightsabers. How, how does he know this is going to open up? How do you know that there's a thing here that it would he work? He used the Force, Aaron. I'm sure they've studied the, like, vehicles of their enemy. Yeah, if not, he would have cut a hole with his lightsaber. I mean, there's also something to be said about just knowing what to do when you're force-powered, sure. you know? That's yeah. true. But, like, we knew where to shoot German tanks. True, yeah. Oh, poor guy. He's like, Jack I feel like he tripped, and then he was like, oh, I, I guess I'm dead now. <laughs> 
I really enjoyed. There's a moment oh, that was in so uh, cool. what like was fly. it? I think it's Battlefront Two in the storyline where you're like mm-hmm. driving an ATAT and stuff. You're just shooting things. Like it was yep. so fun. You would find it fun, you monster. You're shooting Imperials. <laughs> so you like stole it and you're driving it. Not only is that guy a uh, Grandmaster Pycel, but he's also the bad guy from Indiana Jones too. Yep. He's really moving there. Yeah. So I think we just saw the door the Wampas are in. Like we just saw it, mm. but they cut out 3PO opening it. <laughs> this is Falcon weird. The Falcon. The Falcon. The Falcon. Falcon. Yeah. The Falcon. Falcon. Like the Falklands. Falcon. Oh, so Falcon. good. You haven't heard of the Millennium Falcon? He looks so good, like, in black against the white of Echo Base. Yeah. yeah. I love his shoulder turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a Batman, yeah. like Tim Burton Batman Not move. typical. Because Tim Burton, you know, Michael Keaton couldn't turn his head. What's your, yeah. uh, what's your guys' favorite, like, tr- Stormtrooper, like, version? Mm. Shadow Troopers? Snow Troopers. You mean De- Death Troopers? Death Troopers, yeah. yeah. So, that's, uh, your favorite is the one you... <laughs> Um, I thought they were at one point called Shadow Troopers. Uh, no, Shadow Trooper was. Uh, are you are you thinking of the ones that like that are scrambled? Uh, I think what? of the Rogue One ones. Yeah, yeah, Rogue One ones are Death Troopers. I, yeah, yeah, right? they, like they scramble too, so they can't. Right. Yeah. That's just, okay. Yeah. Until we watch fucking. So you like the Snow Troopers, Rick? I think they're my favorite. What do you think, Calvin? I like the uh, the Forest Troopers. Like the scout troopers? Yeah. Scout, scout troopers, troopers are pretty cool. Yeah, I like that little visor they have, yeah. which I don't yeah. understand because they're covered in woods. Yeah. There's no reason the sun would be in your eyes. I mean, but I you're imagine commanders. Force. I'm assuming you're uh, talking just complete empire, right? Because the t- clones are The so clones much are cooler. different. Oh, yeah, they got the a lot of cool stuff there. Yeah. yeah. But I also like a lot of the stuff that, that's come out. Like the, the range trooper and solo, like mm-hmm. like the big magnetic boots and the furry capes yeah. and stuff. Yeah, those are cool. Nimbin troopers are cool. Mud troopers like are sand cool. Sand troopers as well. Sand troopers are cool with the pauldrons. Anytime <clears throat> it's a trooper with like a standing machine gun, yeah, that's my favorite. That's your favorite? <laughs> Just got a standing machine gun. That's what I need. I actually really like the design of the, uh, the tank drivers in Rogue One. Look really cool. They have like yeah. a unique sleek design on their helmet. Well, they had to have smaller helmets so they could be inside those. Mm-hmm. So, how close spaces? is Dagobah? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's like a kind of a short range fighter. Yeah. You know? Well, X wings have hyperdrives. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they're not short range. Unlike okay. oops, sorry, uh, Un- Tie fighters are short yeah. range. Unlike Tie fighters, yeah. I think I'm pretty sure that's correct. Yeah, that it is correct because they're actually outside of the ship in Return of the Jedi, and yeah. go through hyperspace. Are you yeah, su- yeah. Are you saying if X wings have hyperspace? Yes, they, they, they do. do. Yeah, the, the Tie Fighters none do of not. none of them have it. Yeah, unless there's some kind of special occasion or something like that that they have something like a mm-hmm. prototype or something, something like that. Uh, Vader's does. Yeah. Right. So after this, does the Rebellion think that Luke is dead? Does he ever tell them like, yeah, <laughs> I'm heading out. I'm still no, alive. No, uh, because they prepped his ship. I don't yeah. think they would leave an X-Wing if they, if they didn't. You know, they had it, like, ready for him, and then it's gone. So I think they know that he's alive. Well, there was there was guys right there in front of his X-Wing. Yeah, like, they got off. R2. Like, they saw him. They got R2 ready for him and stuff. Yeah. They just don't know, like, where he I is. mean, yeah, I mean, you'd have the same question about, like, all the Rebels are together and, like, hey, is Leia and Han dead? Because yeah. they never made it here, sure. you know? So, uh, so, like, so you're cool. in yeah. space. You have infinite amount of room, and they almost hit each other. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these fools. I love everyone falling. I love seeing the the light go away from the underside of the ship where you can see they're yep. pitching These down. Pesky TIE fighters. Why don't they put anybody in the gunner seats like they did back in episode four? They just have it on auto right now. You can't have it on auto. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow, it's wow. irritating. It's the same noise from uh, Temple of Doom yep. when the engines are stalling. <laughs> We're in trouble. It's a good noise. All on the plane? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, the Falcon, like, it's a freighter. Like, it's not known for its capability in battle. It's known for its speed, you know? Mm-hmm. The power, so yeah. So it's not, uh, it probably just wouldn't be worth to 
have somebody you know waste their time going up there. I love this. This moment. is why I don't oh. put things on the edge. Chewy, <laughs> he does it. Chewy. <laughs> Was it a blast? Someone did this. He just left her flying by herself. Yeah. What the hell do I do? <laughs> <laughs> right. This asteroid segment, I, I love when they find the asteroid segments. There's a part in, uh, what is it, uh, episode two? With Django. With that, Django yeah, and yeah. stuff. Like, I like that segment yeah. and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. I like a lot of the, the asteroid sound things. sound and that, and that, yeah. Yeah, it's just fun. You know, there's these rocks floating through space. You're flying yeah. through. They're unpredictable it's how they move, kind of, you know. Because his ship is so much bigger and less maneuverable. Yeah. yeah and I mean, then he's just the better mm, pilot. He is. This is just, this part is one reason why I love Solo so much. Just seeing that he's done some crazy shit in his life, you know. Yeah. yeah, like going into this, like he's we know he's done crazier when he did the <laughs> Kessel Run. Yeah, you know, he's that's, just like I can do this. Done so well, God, yeah. that's such a good movie. Oh, so I, I, I think I've read that real asteroid fields obviously don't look like this. No, they're like hundreds of miles away from each yes. other. Yeah, <laughs> but it's still technically a field, you know. Because, like, you know, we see this, like, you know, these, like, hitting and pulverizing. Like, after billions of years of this thing existing, they just wouldn't have not have, you know, they all would have hit each other. Yeah, you know? it just would be dust. Yeah. Unless what? it's, like, around, like, a planet yeah. where something's, like, pulling them together. How does the space slug exist in it? How is, well, no, not exist in a vacuum. I can weirdly buy that, but how does it <laughs> sustain buy that. itself? You so, know? if it has to eat, what's it eating? Like, is it hibernating when they first go into it and that's why it doesn't like maybe it appear. doesn't need to eat it just maybe it eats itself. rock yeah. it just wants to it could just eat like radiation from the sun yeah like maybe. it comes out but maybe, then like why maybe, would it it's not Godzilla w w why does why has it been designed with teeth you yeah, know yeah. I, mean? I yeah. get you maybe like it survives on this asteroid well, until it gets a chance to like land somewhere else it, it like could be like laying its eggs like a turtle and then it, it goes yeah. to its natural habitat like, like can, it, can it survive outside of the asteroid you know like, it, it has consumed Minox, I guess. Has it, or are they just living there? I don't know. Like, maybe it's like a <laughs> whale in plankton. You know, like, little little tiny things actually. Yeah, like, they just live inside it. And they could yeah, just be like space whales you know how much things. plankton a whale has to eat every day? I know, yeah. Maybe it just how eats... How many fucking Minox? It could just eat scraps and things, and then the Minox help kind of, like, you know, clean its uh, teeth. digest it a bit, yeah. you know, because you get the electron I cables and stuff I suppose out. it could be, like, kind of like a worm in an apple. Maybe it actually consumes the asteroid itself. I said that. Would you say that? Yeah. I guess it could be that. Yeah, or it could be like an apple and a worm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I guess Aaron, it could be something like that. That's now that we've solved that problem. <laughs> I was thinking, like, it might not even need to eat anything except, like, rock, you know? I would have been smiling like that if I was him. <laughs> that seemed real. I mean, you've done that, like, three times already, so. <laughs> so you bought it. No. No, damn. Hey man, the he does have Anakin's blood. He crashes, lands all the time. He does. <laughs> As you watch the Clone Wars, it, which I don't know why he can't go in slow. Yeah, <laughs> like, gotta go in. We full know speed. the X-wing can do that. Yeah. It's, nah, it's, just put the glanding gear out. What is? Auger <laughs> <laughs> it in. He's not also not using the Force like he's been told. Don't trust your scanners. Use the Force. You yeah. Know? But the Dagobah is a very uh, interesting planet when it comes to using the Force. Well, yeah, it also has the Force. You know, it has force sensitivity on it, so that mm -hmm. Yoda can hide. Right? Yeah. yeah, is that still canon? Mm, who I mean cares? It, yeah, <laughs> I mean it's it's got force related things on it for sure, right? It so I mean, yeah, the cave. I mean well, it's got it has the cave, yeah, the cave. But when you get further in the cave, yeah, it's actually some kind of temple because it actually has like made structure to it. That part like may not be Jedi canon anymore. Temple. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can see it. We'll we'll see actually the, the slaves of rock and stuff that look like a temple. That look like a temple. Yeah. Like, there'll be, like, these land walls that look man-made that are not natural. Hmm. Ancient Jedi Temple. His face still looks fine here. I mean, it, it's been patched up and stuff by the Back to medical droid. Do you guys remember watching these and not knowing, like, not knowing Yoda was Yoda and not knowing Vader was the father, you know, any of that no. kind of stuff. No, I don't, I don't remember no, watching once. and not knowing no. that. No, yeah, I yeah. started watching these from such a young age. Now, I feel like whenever I watched it, I didn't, like, especially the I'm your father thing, I didn't absorb it. No. Like, at the age I was, no. I didn't absorb no. it the way, like, I would have. No, it was just R2 like, moves I knew so he was going to say it, so. Oh, God. So I played with, like, my uncle's toys before I watched the movies. 
Yeah. Mm. R2 moves so qu- effectively and quickly, like underneath the water, you know? He's like probably the, using his little jets. That's what I'm saying. How's he doing it? Yeah. Wh- <laughs> and it's so like... I mean, why didn't he just use his jets? He actually doesn't have jets anymore. Yeah, he got no, down. He, he got down. He got downgraded by Wedge. Whenever, yeah, until he's uh, had him. Just Captain Antilles. Oh, Captain Antilles, Antilles yeah. He's actually been designed to function underwater, and that's why he's so, like, crappy on land. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. Like they took he took out the jets, but they just gave him like a little propeller. <laughs> Instead of it's, it's unuseful any other time. That thing Instead has being to be hardy. Yeah. To fucking it's be dropped. Hardy. You know. I mean, it's a asteroid mech. <laughs> An asteroid mech is that you said? As, uh, astro mech droid. I, I, mean. I thought you were like referencing astro and asteroid. Like I can't <laughs> no, take I a was, hitting. You know. <laughs> I was thinking like he went from being a flying car to an amphibian. I love this close up <laughs> with the mud just. Dis- I hate when it's like on. puking this stuff I out. I thought this dialogue was weird. No, I don't think so. Oh, Ugh. A little hot. So, I hate is that. that. Why do you think the dialogue's weird? Just mud. It's like something out of a no, dream. No, I mean, like, I don't know. how do they do that practically? Is that oh, him man. inside, like, squeezing a, a bag of Probably, yeah. crap? Yeah. Why is it good etiquette to wait for that door to close? This looks cool. Okay. I need well, to own that at Walmart. The other thing, too, is that right. if it's a special secret right, conversation, then then it'll, it'll sense you and open again, and though. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying, like, if it's right. like a secret conversation you don't want anyone else to hear, you go in, you make sure it's shut. That way yeah. you have a private conversation, you know? I love that you can tell that guy's so scared of talking to Vader. What's great is like we know Anakin did so many impossible things. Like mm-hmm. he and he expects like these yep. guys to be able to have the high level of competency. Yep. You know, well, he's used to working with clones. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> yeah. accustomed to the capability of clones, and these guys don't measure up. Yeah, that they're segment, brave. They throw themselves in line of fire. But Aaron, that segment there, like it always confused me because I know like that thing he can like take off his stuff and he can mm-hmm. like survive inside of it. Yep. You know, without. But in that moment there, he has his helmet off, and he also has it opened up. And I'm like, well, why does he have both? You know, why didn't he yeah. have one or the other? He put it on real quick. Well, the uh, the respirator and stuff was still on his face. It was just the hood, like the cowl that came down, right? Yeah. So, like the top of his head, the top of his head can survive. I think it's like a, it's a vacuum. I know when he has everything all together. Yeah, it, it, technically, it it acts as his suit. Like he can't take everything off and just be in there. You know. Yeah. Um. I think that, yeah, he just kind of, I mean, it's, it's like sometimes you just, you have a tie and you loosen it a bit, you know? Yeah. Like, it's like, uh, oh, yeah. shit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> God, Revenge of the Sith, when you put that mask on, the sound, it's one yeah, of the greatest things ever, man. We'll get there eventually with that commentary as well. Commentary on that. Rogue One, Solo. I'd love to do a commentary on Solo. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. I've watched yeah. it like five or six times now. When yeah. it got the that's my I least kept watching it's my it least again. watched Star Wars movie so yeah. far, but yeah, yeah it's, it's really fantastic. good. I was always really annoyed as a kid when he bent his antenna there. <laughs> it's <was laughs> like just, were. just slide it in, you know. Have those old like boombox yeah. radios and stuff. Just I'd slide be freaking out in. if I was Luke, thinking I'm gonna be stranded here forever. Yeah, yeah it's snake. See, when I when I watch this part, I try to imagine what it's like not to know who Yoda is. Mm-hmm. You know, I really do. Um. And one of the reasons I think that you should keep the, you know, viewing order four, five, and then one, two, three, and then six is so you can keep the Yoda reveal, you can keep the I am your father reveal, all the introductions of the characters, like the idea of who Anakin Skywalker is, like who is that? And then you're like, you get to the end of this one, wait, that's Anakin? No way. And you have to go back and you watch it. Yeah. And it's, you're, you're, everything's still made for you, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you, you also get like, when you get the reveal of the father thing. Mm-hmm. You still have that, like, wait, is it? Is he telling the truth? Is he yeah, lying? What's going on here? Is he lying? And then you go back and you see, like, oh, there's Yoda. Oh, this yeah. is Anakin Skywalker. Okay. And you kind of start to see what happens. And then the reveal of that, of him actually turning, yeah. can still be kind of a, you know, like, you can kind of expect it, but mm-hmm. maybe you're not sure. But, you know, one of the things I do like about, you know, because there are people that haven't seen Empire that have done reactions to it, you know, and it's really, like, they don't, haven't ever watched Star Wars. It's really interesting to watch these parts mm-hmm. with, like, wait, is that Yoda? <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. But even then, they have seen Yoda before. Yeah. From some so like, there. there might be one guy that doesn't know it's Yoda. You yeah. know, I love that little bit of wisdom he dropped. The wars don't make you great. You know, yeah. What a good he's fucking fought in a crazy war. Mm-hmm. You know, well, even kids, thousands probably. Yeah, yeah. Like like, even, even kids that have watched Clone Wars, like you know, they'll know who Yoda is. True. So it kind of 
but they're having a good time as he messes with Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> How you guys so big eating food of this kind? So with uh, with Yoda, like he's you know of course voiced and done by Frank Oz. Frank Oz. Um, one of the things I heard was that like when Mark Hamill was having issues doing Dagobah scenes and stuff like that, Frank Oz would bring out like Miss Piggy. Yep. <laughs> to like lighten the mood yeah. and like have fun and stuff. I was like, well, that would be fun. Could you imagine, like, yeah. just, like, being here and thinking about Miss Piggy, like, yeah. you know, sort of talking to you? But I, I love the stories when Mark... <laughs> wow! M- well, yeah, but, yeah, yeah that fun. happens, but, like, Mark Hamill sometimes will just be, like, working the scene, like, in between takes, and be like, all right, I'll do that, and then you do this. And Frank Oz is going, oh, yes, okay, I will do that, you know? <laughs> and, like, Mark Hamill talks about, like, sometimes I'm just talking to this puppet, and I forget Frank is there. Yeah. yeah. I just <laughs> feel like I'm acting with him. That's the great thing about having a puppet yeah. and having a great actor like Frank Oz... Yeah, well, part Work of that, it. with part of that too, like George Lucas, he uh, put a lot of money towards trying to get a uh, supporting actor for Frank mm-hmm. Oz in this role. Yeah. And they said that a puppet cannot be a supporting actor, and he thought it was ridiculous. Yep. Frank Oz didn't carry the way. He just enjoyed doing the work. Yeah. But George Lucas really thought that Frank Oz should get like best supporting actor yeah. in yeah. his role of he, Yoda. He here. absolutely should. I mean, such a good role, like... Well, then how, how, I mean, how this do you, movie just wouldn't work if he sucked. You well, know? no, yeah. And, like, the acting he does through this puppet, you know, it's is so done iconic. so well. The voice is done so well with it. It's mm-hmm. The way he speaks with his sentence structure. Yeah, it's I, just done so well. And I you got to give, like, uh, like, again, I praise the lighting on Vader, but the lighting on Yoda is just as important because you have to get that twinkle in his eye yeah. in a way that it feels like it's real and not just, like, a piece of glass, you know? Yeah. And they, they have, like, a soft light, like, to do his hair from the back. They do another light just for his eyes, you know? I love it. It's kind of like how they used to light, like, old romantic, like, uh, actresses sure. in, in old Hollywood. Yeah. They make them glow. Halo you know? lighting. Yeah. Old yeah. romantic actresses. Like, like old the great actresses. romantic movies. Like Gone with the Wind. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, the Cosa first way you spent I just pictured, like, old ladies trying, like, <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying, to, be trying to be romantic. <laughs> I guess how you got to light those people. But they can't be. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Thupi was like, what? Yep. Thupi heard it. <laughs> like, <You wait> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's fluent in six more million forms of communication. Yeah. It also means sass. So what the hell is she doing? She can do everything. It's probably some kind of gyro. It's probably something that, like, in their universe, it's like putting something in a power outlet. They do it every day, <laughs> you know? I love Han here, man. And even when he says Leia, yeah. <laughs> yeah. she's like, oh, <laughs> now that feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> he has a little bit of Sawyer. Like, Sawyer has a little bit of Han Solo in him. You oh, know? Yeah. for sure. I'm lost. For sure. I thought you meant Tom Sawyer. No, but maybe. <laughs> no. I know the Sawyer. I have legit, like, just tried to emulate this scene, <laughs> you know? Just Stop can't do it like Harrison Ford. Stop no. Like. I definitely said, what are you afraid of? Yeah, look at the things of. in the foreground. Just everything kind of alive and moving. Yeah. yeah. One shot. Like the lights and stuff. Well, yeah, but there was one shot in the beginning where like, there's just this weird thing going back and forth like this. I'm trying to see. You don't like the, nice, man. Come on. I'm trying to see in this scene because there's like a, a foot difference between Leia and mm-hmm. uh, Han. So I know they use like, they sit down <laughs> a lot or they also use like some... Uh, some blocks and some, heels yeah, and stuff. Some like, uh, yeah, boxes and something like that for her to stand on and stuff to give a little bit more height so they can be more eye-to-eye. Well, the angle of the shot, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So they do a lot of tricks to try to get them more on the same height. Oh. What that orange glow? Mm-hmm. I love this. Yeah. The I one that guy's guy like, like oh. oh, fuck, we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Why weren't the shields up? What, what happened? The shields I mean, probably shields down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, got, power. It, it doesn't stop. The energy can, can't get through, but the full actual things got through. Vader's like, put all shields to speed. <laughs> we must catch them. But there is nothing that will keep me out of this asteroid field. Uh, the Emperor wants to talk to you. Get out of the asteroid field! <laughs> <laughs> he wants a clear transmission. Yeah, I don't want to lose him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> asteroid. I wonder how Vader I feels about the little... Those, what are the things called? That, the little wheel around the little cars? Asteroid? Asteroid? Yeah, I wonder feel, how he feels about those. I don't know. He's probably... Ambivalent towards. I love when he has his uh, cape behind his shoulder armor. Yeah, it looks yes. so cool. I'm so I, like it's, I'm it's so cl- glad they put him here. 
Yeah, Ian McDermott. In yeah, this. like uh, he looks looks good. I mean, I can remember watching the old version and having it was a the fucking big eye. It was it was a it was a woman with a, a superimposed image of a chimpanzee. Hmm. Huh. And then, what? And then they changed the voice. Yeah, it was a woman in makeup, and then the eyes were chimpanzee eyes. Yeah, because of the yellow. And then they mixed it all together with this like kind of garbage matte black, like shadow thing to it. And then they had a completely different voice. But like one eye was a little bit bigger, and the other one was a little bit smaller. Yeah. In the yeah. original. So what's the canon in this? Like, does he know? Because at one point. He knew already. Does he know what? What are you asking? Did he know that Luke was his son? Um, I don't know. I, I am. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so he does know. Okay, so he's not finding out for the first time here. I mean, he knows that. I mean, they did right here. They're kind of casually like the son of Skywalker. They're talking about Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, so, like he's but a he person. later knows he's Anakin, but yeah. he's no longer. But he doesn't like that guy. Like yeah. say it to anybody, you know? Yeah, of course. Like so, yeah. But there was I mean, a story that so. Lu- that Vader was trying to get to Luke because he knew yeah. that was his son. Uh, I mean, and he's trying to do it before the Emperor found out. Yeah, just to settle it, I'm pretty sure Canon has it so that Vader acknowledges Luke as his son before he reveals it to him in the in the comics. Okay, now. okay. There are so many snakes in this place. Yep. How do you to make this? Doesn't he like sit down and move a snake here in a second? Yeah. Yeah, like get out of here, snake. <laughs> he's, 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 yeah. Get out of here. I love this little set, this little pot. I know. know. I wonder if they like use any of this for Gandalf. I wonder if they use any of this for Willow. Hmm. I, no. I doubt it. Hmm? Go ahead. Hmm? <laughs> he's such a cheeky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> You're not far. <laughs> Closer now. <laughs> Warmer, warmer. Right. I mean, Jedi's in these movies just say whatever the hell they want, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite uh, old EU books was uh, a okay. Dooku book with Yoda, um, and th- they like they kept in the idea that Yoda eats stinky food. Yeah, <laughs> like he's like trying to serve it to Padawans. Is and like, the, no, no. That's the one with Scout. <laughs> Eric? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Oh, I just love how he changes right here. Yep. He knows that Obi Wan's watching. It happened so quick there too. Just, I'm I'm Yoda. <laughs> look, at, yeah. look at Luke's face. <laughs> look at his eyes here. <laughs> I know it. They look like they're welling up. And you gotta think, Frank Oz is using the tips of his fingers to create eyebrow movement and purse lips, mm-hmm. and you know, and changing where the eyes are looking. Like that's the key of Yoda. He purses, like, I love he pushes face. his lips together. The, you know, the director had Mark Hamill do this sixteen times till he was happy with the the head bump. The head bump. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Ah, and just do it again. That's more intense. <laughs> so does that mean it took a hundred years for Yoda to start training Jedi? Because we know he's 900 years yeah. old, mm-hmm. but he says, for 800 years have I trained Jedi. So the first 100 years of his life. Or he's taken some breaks in between. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, he's counted up. <laughs> he's been here a very I mean, long time. You, it, he if he fills in the let's, time let's, of counting. Let's take the time of like episode three to episode four, which is like 18 years, almost 20 years. So you could say maybe another 80 years before that, before yeah. he started training Jedi. Him training and learning, you know? So. Yeah. And plus, if you live for 900 years... Dang it. A hundred years, you're still like a child. <laughs> that part was making yeah, me Yeah, but in terms of seagull. how much you accumulate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. What, what, what is happening? Him, him moving there, doing that. Ha! Ha! Maybe okay. think of that seagull song. The, oh, okay. <laughs> the, yeah. ba- or the backpacks or whatever, you know? What did you say, Shane? Uh, I mean, no, I was just saying, even though he's a hundred years old and, you know, a child to his species, he still accumulate all the wisdom and uh, most other races, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. He still would be an adult. I just wonder when he started becoming a Jedi. I love this. See, the difference of that would be, like, if this species normally lives to be a thousand years old... What's the it, age cut off? Well, is there... Is there uh, does their body mature differently? That's what I'm saying. Like, right? like, maybe Anakin at nine is similar to Yoda at 80. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly, you know? Yeah, maybe. In the way their brains are... Yeah, yeah how they form and how like they Like, our brains aren't fully formed until we're about 25. Maybe Yoda's isn't until, like, when he's 125. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if he forms the same as humans yeah. do, then he definitely has a big advantage on that. But if yeah. he doesn't, you know, maybe he can live 100 years before he's actually an adult. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. I fucking hate these things, man. Like, when you see the mouth... 
It's fucking disgusting. I love her scream. Oh. <laughs> it's like when you realize you have a spider on your leg. How like it like ramps up. That like spiders in our universe though, they're actually like do more harm do more good than harm yeah. for us, you know. Yeah. Yep. Like, well, let it be. It's going to eat the bugs. Yeah. Yeah. These things chew on your power cables. Like, can you imagine if spiders, like, sunk their fangs into your, your cord for your phone? I'd be pissed. I've seen squirrels, <laughs> like, get in between, like, transformers. Yeah. They blow and get the stuck power. there. Yeah. Oh, they, sucks. Oh, they fucking crispy up real bad. Crispy up. We don't have anything in our world that, like, feeds on any kind of electricity. We have e- electric cables, but they don't feed on it or no, anything. No. They just generate it. Like, we know the bees got affected by like radio waves and shit I don't think there's anything like that right Electro Electro Godzilla Godzilla I don't know I don't think there's anything that feeds on electricity if there was it probably would be bad how do they it hasn't been around long enough like in a controlled way they just put this thing on their mouth but like if you thought you were in an asteroid field and you're just in a cave it's not pressurized but I guess they just checked and it's pressurized. Well, Weird. it's it's an asteroid that has uh, big enough to have gravity, so Gosh. it must have some kind of atmosphere, well, right? It would have to have. I don't. I don't know if it has an atmosphere because atmosphere would have some kind of glow or color well, as, uh, to its well, sky. You're, you're also not counting what they know about Minox, and if True. they can survive there, then maybe they're like, well, it must not be yeah. pressured differently or something. You know, they can only yeah. survive in these kind of environments. And I don't th- they reference like kind of an atmosphere inside this thing? No, it, they do. I just like. I just I'd just be so scared to be a space traveler. <laughs> you know? Yeah, me too, man. They're not wearing blue shirts. They're not, they're not the science team. Yeah, True. Just don't join Space Force, Eric. See this? Yeah, no. This <laughs> makes me feel like this thing was always hibernating, and they just woke it up. And that's mm-hmm. how it doesn't have to eat all the time. And that yeah. And then somebody just like put a little pinprick in its in its esophagus. It's like, wait, what was yeah. that? And then Han's like, wait, and he just start, just shoots it directly. <laughs> so it's been sleeping with its mouth open, drooling into this asteroid. What it like, feel like to have a little tiny ship going up your throat? You know, like. <laughs> Well, if it wasn't touching the sides, it. you wouldn't feel it. Yeah. Padme didn't like discussing things at a committee either. Yeah, I was going to say, I love that committee thing because it makes me think of episodes, yeah. you know, one, two, three. Yeah. He's commenting on the prequel movies. Like, <laughs> no one wants to discuss things in a committee or watch people do it. Yeah. While well, you discuss this in a committee. <laughs> that was always one thing that bothered me as a kid, like, we saw the cave like collapsing supposedly, and it was going so slowly. But then yeah. it like, oh, and it yeah. lunges and it just for it. Up. It's going. What's that? It's, it's, it's like, like what the hell is that? It's that like <laughs> when you're yawning and you try to close your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe. I was gonna say the same thing. Like it's yawning is oh, and then once it opens its eyes, like whoa, shit! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like right when you wake up. You ever try to wake up and then right as soon as you do, make a like, close your fist. You can't do it. You get like this. Yeah. But like, but your body is still asleep, kind of. Yeah. Like, why are you making a fist? Well, I'm saying, like, if you ever try to do it, you can't make a tight fist as soon as you wake up. Maybe it's something like that, like yeah. where his whole body is going. Maybe. Uh, you know. You wake Mark, up. Your Mark kids hitting you with a shovel. It's go I time. Make a tight fist. Punch the shovel. <laughs> I can't punch a kid. That's He's bad. dropping some wisdom on here, man. Yep. Run, run. Mark Campbell got pretty muscular here too. Back, back he did. While you run. Actually, I you know I like a lot of like fan art and. Uh, action figures of the training like mm-hmm. uh, outfit he has on. Yeah. Now, what's the answer for how long he was here? A few weeks. Um, yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. I did this uh, for a while. There, I always try to do Halloween costumes with uh, my kids. Yeah. My first like themed Halloween costume was I had Leon dressed as Yoda on this backpack thing in my back. I remember that. While I was just like Luke carrying him around. I was he- gonna look up the how long. You should have kept that wig. The what? The wig. What wig? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said six months. That can't be right. That he's on Dagobah? Yeah. I've heard no. long answers for it. It doesn't yeah, feel he's, right. He's cut looking, man. I mean, because you got to compare it with what's also going on with, with Han, Han and, and Leia. Them, right? And what is six yeah. months on Dagobah? Yeah. I mean, they're not... I mean, They're not in that asteroid for a week. They're not. I suppose if the planet spins really fast, <laughs> it's like a day is like an hour. Like, like they're not attached to that star destroyer here in a little bit for three months, are they? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, I think the I, I think I heard definitely that they were hiding out in the asteroid field for weeks. This says tw- he he trained for twelve to fourteen hours a day for one week. 
Okay. For a week. For one week. A okay. week. I can believe a Luke week. Luke has been practicing the basics of the Force for three years so far since, you know, yeah. Obi-Wan kind of taught him some stuff, and then he still has hurt him a bit. Mm-hmm. So 100 push-ups, 100 yeah. sit-ups, 10 kilometers yep. every day. Uh, so Yoda clearly weapon. states that Luke's training is incomplete when he goes to Phase Vader. Yeah. Um, Were you going to say he takes his weapon even though he's told not to? And then Luke yeah, has a full year from after Empire to when he goes back to Yoda as well. Yeah, he 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 took all that with him, so that's what's in there waiting for him, you know, danger, fear. Yeah, one week. Okay. It's been one week. More I mean, snakes. One week with yep. the most badass best master of the Jedi ever. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Pretty much. And he's not starting from zero yeah. either. Yep. He, he he's the son of the fan. chosen one as well. Mm-hmm. So Fucking snakes, man, they're really selling on me on these snakes. Yep, a lot of snakes. There's another one. They saved the snake industry. Komodo dragon. With the, with the different sound, yeah. Nah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we start seeing like these very vertical and like you know. Like moments like this right here, like that's not a natural. Yeah, that's shape. You know, that's carved. Like we so. see these kind of like triangle-like doorways and stuff, mm. which very similar to stuff that we've seen in other things, Aaron. When it comes to dark side dun, stuff, dun. slow motion. Yep, did it before the Matrix. Yeah, it did. This is like that scene <laughs> at the end of Warriors of Virtue when they're fighting the really low frame rate, Rick. Glorious. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Master Reminds Chung me of, uh, and Komodo. Uh, also, mm. a lot of people, you know, saying in the new movies, like, they should never use slow motion. They would never use it in the original trilogy. And you're like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> they do it for the whole fight right here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. If only that, it was that easy later in the movie. I yeah, know, right? right? Now, canon-wise, uh, uh, Luke and Vader have crossed swords before this moment, too. In the old expanded universe, it was... Uh, multiple l- times. Uh, yeah, multiple times. I didn't know it was canon. They did still. Yeah. yeah. So why does he see his own face? Because like he potentially it, can go down that path. It's a vision of yeah. the Force. Is if it, he's not careful, he'll turn into his father. Is that what it's supposed to be? Is it supposed to be a nod towards him actually being his father? It's supposed to be that the path is dangerous and he could go evil? Is it? Yeah. Like, what the do you answer think? to every question is, I think, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only a Force user can Yeah, like, that's th- this is an ant looking at a book... And being like, what does this mean? You know? <laughs> and he's just getting little tiny things, you know? Oh, the bounty hunter scene. I have all of these guys in the Black Series now. Oh, they nice. released them all, finally. There's a comment. I love this. He's I like, wish, what's up, buddy? I wish yeah. one toe would have like clicked. He definitely came like a just from fighting Captain Kirk. I always Star feel Trek. like these guys, like when I was in high school, when I would go to like parties with my rich friends and their parents, I'd be standing there, and they look at me, I'd be like, <laughs> Can you guys name all the bounty hunters? No. Uh, IJDA, IJDA, Boba Fett, Boba Fett Bosk, Bosk, and that's it. Uh, Dengar. Oh, Dengar. Dengar um, yeah. oh, those, damn, those what's the, the weird bug? Uh, there's like a buggy eyed looking guy. Starts with Z. Zuckus. Zuckus. Yeah. And then Forlom. I don't it's know. The, what like that one insect is. bug droid looking guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was a comment on YouTube one time where someone called Eric scum, and he's like, scum. <laughs> They call me scum. <laughs> they call me scum. <laughs> Why scum? <laughs> Bosk is wearing like a, it's a uh, Doctor Who outfit. It from is. From like classic, classic Who. Classic Who. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, no. the uh, like Stan space Winston outfit just looking thing. got an outfit out of like an archive and it ended up being a, a, a thing that was used in Doctor Who. He just yeah. cut off the legs. Yeah. Made it and put it on a lizard. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Hmm. He said they fixed it. Which is interesting, because I always thought that uh, Boss's outfit just looked kind of like a yellow version of, of Luke's, X-Wing. Of Luke's, yeah. yeah. Outfit. That's probably why they picked it. So in this movie, Obi-Wan Kenobi has a thing where he talks about, you know, the Jedi Master who trained me, mm-hmm. and referring to Yoda. Yes. Like, what do you guys think about that whenever... Uh, I got an answer to that. You know, because Qui-Gon was his master for a long time, mm. but... Yoda also kind of trained everybody, so like, yeah. do you think it's more of him referring to that, or what do you guys think of that? I yeah, thought it was yeah. because Yoda trained the younglings. Yeah, Yoda trained all. He trains all the younglings until they're about like nine, and then they get a and then they get a Jedi. Like, yeah, yeah. And, but Yoda still is training everybody, you know, in yeah. a way as yeah. well. Younglings are actually kind of like sorted, kind of like in Hogwarts, where there's like different clans of younglings, mm-hmm. and Yoda trains them <coughs> as classes. So like the class that we saw in Episode Two was called the Bear Clan, 
and like he would train them then he would go to here and here and also as the grand master of the jedi he's in charge of all jedi he's in charge of all of their training my my yeah. uh, daughter was in the bear clan in her preschool oh nice oh, nice. nice i just know a lot of people were like that man he, he didn't get trained by yoda he got trained by qui-gon that's a mess up they messed up you know continuity error, error and it's like well i always thought it was just like yoda trains everybody yeah. you know that's how i was i'm sure he has a hand in training yeah. everybody he's well, got and time a lot of different jedi too train different aspects at least in the jedi apprentice books mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah there's they, well, like rick said there's basically like courses yeah. you know yeah and then you know we we saw him training younglings i imagine obi-wan was a youngling taken at the age yep. he should have been rather than anakin being taken too late you know yeah so if yoda's working with a lot of these young ones it makes sense that he did train him at some point yeah yeah for sure I'm you really know sad that we didn't get to see yoda land yeah you know what I think is interesting like that I never got to experience this in the first movie there is no telekinesis with the force it is only the first time we see it is when Luke grabs it so we never got the feeling of holy shit the force can do that sure yeah I just always thought the force did that you know it's really interesting to think about and then you see these moments like oh stacking rocks that's crazy yeah I'm going like I didn't throw the senate at him (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah, in episode four like he sees the la- the lasers that he blocks yep. and then he uses it to f- to shoot the Death Star. Mm-hmm. And, and that, Vader, that's really it. you can say Vader's is kind of telekinesis because he's like Force actually choking. pushing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But not really. It's been like it's always been shown as a different kind of power to like categorically in, in books and stuff. And that could have only been like a dark side power. Yeah, exactly. For all we knew. Which is why Luke actually uses it in the next movie. And mm-hmm. he's wearing all black and you're going, what the hell's going on with Luke? Yeah. Well, at first you're kind of like, is Vader coming in here? And then you're like, wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, it, he has that cloak and everything. Look at Ooh, those eyes. Yep. He's like, oh my He's gosh. He's so funny looking. <laughs> you know, like, when it comes to expression, like, in drawings or in puppetry, people always think it's all about the eyebrows. But it's actually the position of the eye. Mm. Like, if it's slightly, like, up here and you can't see the white on this side, that can be anger and that can be that. But surprise can be you actually see white around the entire eye. You know, like... Mm-hmm. Frank Oz is just a master, man. Yeah. Like, he knows. He has a monitor there to see where the what the eyes are, what the positions are, you know? And he's moving him with, like, these fingers and using these <laughs> fingers to purse his lips. It's crazy yeah. how physically exhausting it is at, for yeah. him to use it. I wonder how different it would have been because originally I think they were talking to Jim Henson about it. Yeah. And then, like, he was busy with mm-hmm. a Muppet thing or something or another. I forget yeah. what it was. And then he offered Frank Oz for or yeah. mentioned him for it. I, I, I say that because oh, I love that. it's important and exp- to, to express on the face and this character has no eyebrows right? yeah you know he has those ridges he's got though. a brow he does but eye, he doesn't not like you know hair like we we eyebrows are so important like when you look at a human face i love this like you know i imagine <laughs> yeah. a way you matter. see someone like <laughs> like neo in the matrix yeah you see someone as like this luminous light that's why it's so important when you're just like you think judging by my size you know yeah. i'm small but i'm powerful so i'm huge <laughs> you know I, love, I also, I don't know, something about the way he talks to, he's not just staring at Luke talking, he's like looking around, he's like pointing at things, he's yeah. like doing all mm-hmm. this other stuff, it's like, it's also, it's it's good to remember too that like, this is knowledge that Yoda didn't ha- always have, you know, this is something that he didn't always believe in, like he l- had to learn this way, like going through the Clone Wars got him to this point, you know? Yeah. Yeah, for Even sure. Even though he probably okay. did say the words, he might have not known what they actually meant until he failed. You yeah. know, and everything failed. Mm-hmm. In that last shot, where was Frank Oz? Yoda sitting there, moving around, sitting on the ground. Uh, he was every, under, everything under. is five feet above the the yep. studio. Yeah. So from his shoulder and up. Yeah. So he you know, can be. I always thought it was interesting when he's, when he's bent over, pulling shit out, like throwing it behind his back. Yeah. I always thought that was kind of weird yeah. shot. Like, how do you do that? How does your arm not fall asleep? Yeah, you, could you imagine like, all right, ready, action? You're yep. like this the whole time doing this stuff. Like, yep. it, would be, it would be definitely tiring. You, gotta, a, you get paid. That's why he does a great <laughs> job doing it. Uh, so cool. I guess also, and this isn't a four like a full size X wing or anything too. That, but you just buy it. It's like three feet long or something like that. Like what? The other thing too is like, what can he see when he's doing that? You know, like can he? Is he able to watch? Was he able to watch the uh, Yoda like while Your he's doing can, it? Yeah. Or is he just like, does he have to know it so yeah. well that, okay, I know I that think I he has have a, to do this. I believe he has a monitor. He's got, that's yeah. I want, yeah, I want to know, like, because I know, like, you know, the director has a monitor and different things like that, but. Dude, Yoda's theme, one of the best themes in Star Wars. I love how it goes. It goes from Yoda's theme, da na 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 and then into the Rebellion fanfare as we land. I love it so much. 
John Williams is a motherfucker, man. <laughs> this is the greatest comeback. Yep. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. I've seen that line and that pose on so many posters at schools. Yep. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> and Another one bites the dust. Failed me. That's the guy that kept coming in, right? Mm -hmm. Nita? Captain Nita. See, some people were saying, like, in Rogue One, like, the way Vader was talking was not like the original trilogy when they're like, no. Be careful not to choke on your ambition, you know? Yeah. I mean, he wouldn't say that. I'm like, do you not remember the classic lines when he chokes him? He's like, apology accepted. <laughs> yeah. Need a, you yeah. know? And just like snarky. He's like, oh, too easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, and no one's around to hear him. He's like saying it for yeah. his own amusement. <laughs> he you know? is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like that's see, so, and it's funny that's something yeah. Anakin would say in the Clone Wars you know see that's the thing like when I watch Vader in the original trilogy I have to work really hard to say that is Anakin Skywalker like when I'm thinking of Anakin from the Clone Wars right yeah I'm trying to imagine Anakin there saying those things and there's a disconnect I think because I've watched this so much first yeah, yeah. but I'm really interested like someone that's watching in chronological order what they would feel like you know yeah and think about how snarky Anakin is you know with little quips he has like in Clone Wars yeah. or whatever or between him and Ahsoka or anything like he says stuff there it's the same guy here making the same kind of little jokes and well, which and one quips. of you will be the cold blooded murderer and Anakin stabs yeah. the guy what he was gonna blow up the ship <laughs> yeah it wasn't just his flesh that was burned away like a lot yeah. of himself yeah, was exactly. burned away as well so yeah. it's just so different it's a psychological yeah. thing like he is he is not Anakin anymore so yeah and that's what he tells himself but the youngling saw to that it's no joke there's a curious thing like where Hayden Christensen is you know, he's been kind of like uh, criticized for some of his like vocal like ways he he talks. But if you really pay attention, like yes, master, yes, master, like it's like the same yeah, kind really of is. like inflection he puts on it, just a human voice. So he does a really pretty good job. But then you know they let uh, the other guy just kind of go with whatever they wanted to do with the Clone Matt Wars. Lanter. Matt Lanter, yeah. yeah. And I still I enjoy both, but I I just I appreciate that Hayden Christensen put the effort in. Yeah, and people didn't see it, you know. Yeah. Well, when he says like the Jedi turned against me, don't you turn against me? Like, I imagine Vader going the Jedi turned against me, don't, don't you, you turn, turn against, against me? Yeah, exactly. So like it's yeah. the same kind of cadence. Yeah, and it's stuff. the same it's, cadence. It's, it's what you could see keeping and staying into Vader yeah. later on. Some of the most interesting stuff is the books where he wakes up in the suit and his voice sounds different and. Mm -hmm. The machine is like sc like scratching at the inside of his lungs. Like every time he breathes, there's no rest with the pain. Pretty interesting stuff. It's so like just off. Their idea was to do this. Yep. And Bob was like, "All right, well, I'm just gonna go out with the trash too." <laughs> he, well, just, he just he just he thinks the same way. He's, he's so damn good. Well, he's I, I love that too. Before, right? I, the, the slave one looks like trash. Yeah. And then yeah. all of a sudden, you're like, "Shit, there's a ship." You figure there'd be some sensors being like, blah, 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 someone's behind yeah. us. <laughs> yeah. Know? Or like a rear view mirror. Something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's also a highly advanced, like, military yeah. ship, too. One of the biggest differences between, uh, like, clone troopers and stormtroopers is that Boba Fett thing that comes up and down, you know? I, I always loved that. His rangefinder. Yeah. 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 I love when that. <laughs> the last time. Yeah. <laughs> I love his eyes. They're so funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feels like a Gandalf line. Makes you think what Yoda sees. Yeah. Like, what does he know, or what does he? I mean, you know, old friends long gone could be like Qui Gon. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And he's really seeing Mace him. Windu. Yeah. I know Zero the Hut. Samuel Jackson <laughs> has says he's kind of gone a little campaign. He's like, I'll definitely come back. Yeah. Find a way to bring me back. You know? Yep. It's Star Wars, baby. I'd love to have him back somehow even if it's like a prequel. Like a flashback, you mean? Yeah, like some kind of flashback. Dude, he was he was one of the sweetest things about the prequels. Just him. His attitude. You under arrest, my lord. You know? He you think doesn't he eat this boy. He unfortunately has one of the worst lightsaber fights. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah, he does. 
I mean, I mean, I don't love Obi Wan versus Dooku in Episode Two. Like, no, I, I feel I, like it's all mirror moves. As a fan of but, choreography, no. Yeah, but you know, Lucas kind of fucked that up. You know, with with Window. Yeah, because he came in the day of and said, we're going to do this. He, well, he came in and he's like, I need shots of the actors doing these things, and I want to see their faces. And they're like, Ian Madermott can't do this. Yeah. And he's like, just make him do it. What can he do? This? Shoot that. <laughs> you know? Nick Gillard's like, ugh. <laughs> yeah, because like, they had to <laughs> Why start. am I here? <laughs> but then they nailed the Obi-Wan fight. Oh, Anakin yeah. so much that who yeah. cares? <laughs> I'm trying to reach <laughs> Lando Calrissian. Fucking cloud cars. It's such a, they're weird. There's a few weird ships in Star Wars. I think cloud cars is like one well, of my weird ships. they're also, ships. like the cloud cars are open too. Like you can see the guy's head in there and there's no glass. Like except for like the windshield, I think. There's like a fire. Yeah, like I was going to say, Yeah. Yeah, see right there. They see the dude, like they're just kind of like open. It's in a cage, but they're it's not, open. They're not going that fast, really. It's just kind of like an escort speeder rather than a ship. A really close one there. Yeah. You sure there's no glass? There could be glass. I don't. There could be like the atmosphere, is? like that fake shield that's on Star Destroyers when you open up. Yeah. Or just glass they use Windex on. Just can't see it. Hmm. Bird said it all. But it's actually called transparent steel. Crazy asshole. This is all new here. Yep. Like the the coming up to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Best is all new stuff. And all the windows inside. Like, oh yeah, because it was, used to be so claustrophobic and short. Mm hmm. So there's a story that uh, Carrie Fisher told that before the scene of them first entering Bespin, mm -hmm. the night before, uh, she was, like, staying with the, the Python, something like that, the Monty Python. They were doing, like, uh, okay. life, uh, life of Brian. Life of Brian. Mm -hmm. And they drank something they called, like, Tun Tunisian table cleaner or something okay. like that. And they were drinking <laughs> through the night. And she said that's why when they're looking through Bespin here, when they're doing like the little escort, they all look so happy. Really? <laughs> She's like they were still kind of drunk from that. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. I mean, I definitely believe that from Carrie Fisher. I think it's like a, a funny yeah. story that they would have where they were just like chilling, hanging out, and definitely drinking. Definitely believe it from the cast of Monty I, Python. Too. I wish both sides had made a cameo in the other's movie. Wouldn't that be yeah. great? Yeah. <laughs> it's so sad that she's passed away now. You know, gosh, mm -hmm. yeah. it's crazy. And it's and especially with some of the stuff that came out, like. Just like the history between her and Harrison Ford, it's, it's really interesting, you know? No good swindler. He looks so good. Him? He's yeah. a handsome man. No, Lobot. In handsome, great clothes. As black as a night Lobot, can be. so handsome. You know, just love it. <laughs> Look at him coming up here. Yep. He's confident. His <laughs> hair moving in the wind. Where is he? Yeah, he's got a cape. We got to bring capes back, man. Like Harrison's hair looks ridiculous. His hair, immaculate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, Lando's like this rich guy, and he was always, like, if you look at Solo, he was always like that, you know? And Han's kind of this scoundrel, mechanic, dirty, grimy street racer. <laughs> you know, what I the difference in that hair? I don't know that I've watched this since I've seen Solo. Solo. Really? I'm not I sure. haven't. Yeah. So it's fun, like, I mean, kind of just thinking about that while hearing them talk and like, different honestly, things. Honestly, I think Donald Glover played it a little too cool. Like, like... He's a little cocky, but he's lost, and now he's like yeah, a that's what I'm Like he's, he's not as cool as he used to be, but he likes to yeah. act like it because he's been humbled, right? Yeah, he's been humbled. I mean, he's still well, cool and smooth. Yeah. yeah, but he like he's he not as smooth. He calls you, mean, an old you mean this one's not as cool now? Yes, I think having that's Donald meant. Donald doing it back then being yeah. being no, too I, cool, I think kind of yeah. works though, right? I yeah. mean to like that's what like when matching the characters, like he he was a little too cool to be perfect. As this Lando, but that Lando is not this Lando. Yeah, so, yeah, you know? yeah. And just like, oh, yeah, the, the, the characters definitely changed since that movie. It's like high school you trying to be too cool, or whatever, and then later on yeah. you're like, well, I'm, st I'm pretty slick, but I, mean, I understand. I was stuff also now, a you know? stupid kid. I probably shouldn't have done that, and you know, I got responsibilities now. But hey, who's this lady? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of these, uh, like the backgrounds have been changed, replaced because yeah. it, the it original had like just white walls yeah. and like yellow window windows. One and of stuff. the best changes that George made was that. Just so mm -hmm. cool. Oh, mm. yeah. It, it used to be like an old Doctor Who set. Where's the ice cream yeah. guy? The ice cream guy? There's a guy like, oh, he'll, carrying he'll, like a big like ice cream maker thing that do. people go crazy with his costume now. That was back in the ice caves, wasn't it? No, it's in this. I, th I thought it's in, it's in Bespin. Like when Bespin is, everybody's is like running away. Is that why people at Star Wars Celebration, there's just like an army oh, of yeah. people There's an army an of cream. guys with the mustache and the hair and holding an ice cream. But I think it's around the time when uh, Lando was telling everybody to get, get away. So who shot him there? It's Fett? a trooper. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a stormtrooper. I think so. You should really see him, right? The, the yeah. voice is weird there. You know, yeah. it kind of doesn't it's sound like a stormtrooper, you know? Because if it was Fett, they would have replaced it. No, it's not Fett. Yeah. Like, so someone asked if it was Fett. 
It just it doesn't sound like a stormtrooper, but it makes sense if it's a stormtrooper. Oh, Luke it could be. Maybe to, it was like an officer or two. Luke just needs to have like a correspondence course with Yoda, or have Yoda come with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could be dangerous. Maybe correspondent. <laughs> I love the crackle, like the yeah. the sparkly crackle around the edge. This is like I like he's like yes, listen to him, <laughs> you know. This yeah. is like when you teach a programmer a little bit, and they start to go do things, and they like get stuck in infinite loops and everything. Yeah, it's like because they they've just enough to be dangerous. Like they've opened the door, and haven't taught him how to lock it. Yeah, you know, like it's just open and anything can get through. I also love that Obi Wan. Like the more we see him. Like compared to him on Hoth, and then here, and then in Jedi, he gets more and more solid. You know, more. Uh, see, I was gonna say that that's kind of weird because a lot of the Force Ghost kind of stuff that we see, mm -hmm. they're usually a little blue. They're very transparent, and here, like you're getting him more and more like clear, as yeah. like he's really there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's kind of weird compared to like the other times you see him. And stuff. Yeah. Well, especially in the beginning of this movie when he appears on Hoth, he yeah. looks just normal. Yeah, but the thing too is that if this is a place where maybe there was like a Jedi temple or there's some kind of force mm -hmm. connectivity here maybe he can come through stronger here than he could other places which and we I was know is, say is true of some other stuff yeah I believe seen. this is a dark side place actually mm -hmm. I was also going to say it is much darker here so if the force ghost is producing some kind of light mm -hmm. thing like it would be more apparent here yeah which you could connect to like uh, I think in episode 3 they mentioned like talking to an old friend which people speculate about being Qui-Gon Jinn yeah. and stuff like that so like could Obi-Wan talk is there something there or would he see more of a yeah. blue transparency kind of thing you know and it's not a speculation like because Obi-Wan says Qui-Gon right yeah does yeah. it say Qui-Gon yeah. in episode 3 okay. your old master yeah. Qui-Gon I remember that Qui-Gon that's how he does it you no know, I mean Liam Neeson actually recorded lines for that part but they were cut out yeah yeah, yeah. yeah they were in Sad the book face. well I know the way that they were going for mm -hmm. it but I didn't know I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen episode three. I love the red light that pops up in a second here. And then Obi-Wan's gone, and then he's gone, yeah. and then the red light, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, so, there's yeah. historical evidence that he was just going to have another sibling out there that wasn't Leia. Yep. And right. there's well, little historical evidence. Was it going to be a sibling? It wasn't going to be a sibling. It was just going to be another person. It was going to be another yeah, oh. like Jedi yeah. person. Okay. And then it was next uh, movie where they decided a Skywalker. Yeah. But this movie, I think it was just There Is Another. Yeah. So next movie, they decided, oh, you know, there is another Skywalker. Well, and, and if, if that is the case, but yeah, it seems to be... That's new right like there, that. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In Return of the Jedi, when he reads Luke's mind and finds out about Leia, can he, he read read Luke's mind in this movie and find out about Yoda still being alive? Mm, probably not. I, I think if he wanted to, he could. Maybe if he wanted to. He might just not think it's that important or... You know, maybe he had to take the effort to do it, or just like Luke is kind of weirdly confident in this one until he gets beaten down. Mm -hmm. But in that one, he's emotionally unstable. Well, he's and there trying he's to save his father. Can't help stuff. but think Even about Vader Leia. is like really probing at that moment when Luke's hiding yeah. as well, and yeah. he might have. Yeah, and Luke was more concerned about Leia being on the planet than it, Yoda being on Dagobah. In right? the novelization of Return of the Jedi, the Emperor uh, he, he knows about uh, Yoda. Not, IG droid yeah. back there destroyed. Sorry. He's like, oh, he finally died. You know, he was talking about it because he read Luke's mind. Yeah. Little Ugnaughts. I think Chewie just having to be in this scrap. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, these the little IG people just throwing yeah. shit everywhere? Man, I'd be afraid of that thing activating. We got to do well. They threw guys. a cage at him. <laughs> Some guy picked up a cage and threw it at Chewie <laughs> for not letting him destroy this droid. It's like Calvin with food at WaveCon. <laughs> just throwing it around. There's limes and lemons everywhere. <laughs> oh, you said fruit. I thought you said food. The fruit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, either way, so it works. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasant food after we were done with it. You know, like, Han does not care that this George is in pieces. You, you know? Give, he don't give a fuck, man. He's got Leia. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love that dude. <laughs> no, no problem. He's here for the help that he has to get and wants yep. nothing more, right? Yeah. That's what he's going for here. Yep. Having trouble with your droid. What the fuck again. happened to this droid? God, I want to watch Solo now, man. <laughs> Seeing these two on screen. 
Is this your ice cream guy Billy Williams here? Watts solo. Is that him? No. No, that's no. not him. Never mind. The ice cream guy is like an Indian guy. I just saw some guy holding something. And I was like, man, that's him. Yeah, that's new in the background. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It looks good. The tracking was a little little shaky at first. I believe most windows in the background are new. Yeah, yeah. anything yeah. that shows outside is all yeah. new. Oh, gosh. I love that. Oh, that was a little weird. He he pulls it and he's holding the barrel, and then when he says we'd be honored, he puts it down. He's holding like the grip and the gun's pointing back at Han. Yeah, <laughs> it's a force thing. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> That's the uh, Evolver, also not <laughs> the outlaw Josie Wales thing. Why don't they actually talk? <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> you seen Luke? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys really fucked me back there. You know that, right? Oh, they were allowed to eat. <laughs> soup. Yeah. I just imagine there's a lot of soup and he has a straw goes up. <laughs> Why are they doing that to him, man? That's what they do when they so torture. Can't sleep. When they torture operatives, they do that too. And they flash lights and shit. You know, this kind of reminds me a little bit of the KJ kept you in, in Solo. Yeah. No, in Solo. Oh. Like, like it has like a grating on the top and stuff, yeah. you know? Oh, like just okay. some little things like that I'm yeah. just thinking of. I mean, it's dark like the so, like the Jabba Palace, sure. Palace one, but I'm just thinking about like, you know, he's in a thing, there's a grate above him. Like, can people mm-hmm. be up there? Or what is up there? Or is there anything yeah. up there? They just feed him stuff. It'd be a yeah, goddamn you know? beast. Yeah. The beast. At least they were nice and let him have 3 PO. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I mean, eventually everyone's in this little cell, right? I wonder if Chewie's like, uh, who the yeah. hell put this guy together? <laughs> Shot him craftsmanship. It's like the lighting like, and the framing of this yeah. movie is on a whole nother level. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Irvin Kirshner is quite the director. <laughs> the subtitles. I, yeah, I love the way the subtitles did that. <coughs> I never I don't, noticed that. I don't remember that, yeah. It's like cutting out vowels and stuff just enough yeah. to... He says stormtroopers, so it was definitely stormtroopers that shot him. <laughs> 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 he just realizes it. And this is the same set. It's just it lit is. differently. Yep. And like talk about having like no eyebrows or <coughs> expression. I but fucking like, hate this. Yeah, that's why he has to have like a completely neutral face. I hate this Iron Maiden fucking torture Yeah, like what is thing. this thing, man? Look at that. It burns and, and shocks can't, like, him. You have to be pulling yourself back. While you're falling. As you're going into it. Yeah. Like there's no like resting your back on something, you know? I love how Vader has to duck under these. Yeah. Everything. Demir Morrison, yeah. there, in the special He's edition. no good to me, dead. I mean, I'm I'm happy that it matches the prequels thing, but I, I don't like Tamir Morrison's "As You Wish" uh, as much as Jeremy Bullock's, like from the original. Because in, in this one, when we saw it, he's like "As You Wish," like yeah. that, mm-hmm. and Jeremy Bullock's like "As You Wish." As yeah. You wish. And wear this dress. Yeah. You guys remember that? What was it, Robot Chicken yeah. or something? Yeah. <laughs> that was actually Billy D. Williams playing Lando in that. <laughs> Dio keeps getting worse all the time. And ride this unicycle. Yeah. I, I love know? the idea of, you know, because Anakin did this stuff too. Like Vader going beyond like the military chain. Like he's dealing with the underworld mm-hmm. and the bounty hunters. And he's dealing with things personally, you know? There's a, uh, a great old uh, comic where Vader actually comes up to the destroyed body of 3PO like in Leia's room and he's like looking at it and he yeah. kind of like picks it up and like for like a split second he kind of like holds it to his helmet yeah. and then he stops himself and then like sends attachment. it to the, sends it to the Wookiee yeah. making like oh did he want him to put him back together yeah that's weird that's interesting I've seen just like in a comic yeah. yeah man just imagine the relief of being able to lay down on your back yeah right we say get the face. Do whatever you want, just not right here. <laughs> <laughs> no face, uh, no nuts. I don't want to be scruffy looking. They just let him in. What, in, what now? Uh, Lando. Yeah.
Oh. How they know Luke's on his way? That guy started beating him with his blaster. <laughs> I love yeah. him. Get him, get him, my God. I live for this. Because <laughs> uh, Luke probably did like a, a healing thing, like coming into the atmosphere. He had to be able to have a docking bay. Oh. He had to get shot by those convertibles. Yeah. This cloud have cars. Landing clearance. Those cloud car guys are serious. We're serious. <laughs> no, we Do not you? deviate from your present course. I should tell you about. My, my first flame. <laughs> like, this movie just steps up so much. It like, does. the idea of this place. It's just so different than the f first movie, you know? This is uh, yet another trope of where you hear the, pl hear the plan. doesn't work out. Except this time, it's for the bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. Freeze him. Take him to the Emperor. So what do they normally freeze? Uh, sh okay, cargo. Like, uh, like... Because they like normally food, like, Think about, like, fragile glass. Like, you would freeze that so that... Or, or food stuffs where it wouldn't, you know, go bad or something. Because they mainly produce gas, right? Yeah, Ty Ty Tybana gas, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because Bespin is a gas giant... Gosh, I love the Clone Wars, Eric. Yep. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yep. <laughs> like, he only serves to sp talk now. You know? Yeah. <laughs> if I was Jew, I would wear him on front, like, armor. Oh, uh, <laughs> that'd be funny. Turn around, I can't see. <laughs> this whole set is so cool. I know. And the that lighting. thing in the background there, it kind of looks like it goes off in the distance, but it's only, like, five feet long. And Vader's telling the truth. If you read some of the stuff, yeah. like he's got a lot of respect for Fett. Yeah, but and it's interesting. Like Fett could just be like, "All right, well, I don't care if he dies then." But no, he wants to fulfill his contract. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like getting paid for it is secondary. It's not good enough for him, really. You know. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Look at the lighting, man. It's so good. And it's coming like it's so risky to do lighting coming from down up. Yeah. Because you risk like, you know, harsh making people features look, and stuff. Making people look fat or scary or something, but it looks so good. But fortunately they're both very attractive people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it works. So I have you had the sign light on Rick. top, <laughs> so I vape I love that love, but it, you know, his whales here. Yeah. How it goes orange, with the man. music. So, his hands are handcuffed behind his back. I was going to bring that up. Yeah. So hey, what's the answer? I, for I that? have to guess that like the gas hits him, and maybe he can break him or something. I don't know. Or maybe he had like an escape until the last second, and then he's like, "Oh." <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't think there's a good answer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure there is one maybe out there. Maybe it's supposed to be like... There's some story where he gets unfrozen yeah. for a second. Maybe there's some kind of thing like you cannot move when this gas hits you or something like that, you know? And it breaks the cuffs or somehow. I don't know. Yeah, the gas melts the metal. Yeah. Maybe yeah, adrenaline, he just broke it himself. I don't, I don't believe in Return of the Jedi. When he melts, he has cuffs on at all. Like, yeah. wouldn't he still have the cuffs yeah, on he, there if it I mean, broke at the this middle? Point, or? He's lost them. Like, you, we'll see it, and he has his hands up, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, he has them up. But, I mean, if like they broke yeah. in the middle, maybe you'd still have the cuff part sure. on, but I mean, they're not like connected. Just the bracelets. Yeah, you know? But They must have dissolved somehow. Maybe it's... Dong. Yeah. You know, the original line and stuff in there, like, they changed stuff around, because mm -hmm. uh, they Har Harrison Ford kind of didn't want to be in the third movie. Yep. So, like... He wasn't sure about what he was going to do, and, this, yeah. and George Lucas was like, well, you know, I kind of have some ideas for you, and stuff like that, so, like, the original line with this was going to be like, whenever she I said, love I you love too. you, yeah. well, it was going to be something like that, yeah, you know, I'll be back as well, like, refer, like, I'm not done yet, you know, you can remember that you love me, yeah. and instead he kind of said, like, how about if I just say I know? <laughs> yeah, which is perfect. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it, fits, so it fits his character, and it fits it does, the plot line, It does fit yeah. the character very well, but, no, even here in the second movie, he was kind of like, I don't know if I want to be in anymore. Well, he, he he was, he like he always wants kind of like a big input on story, and he felt the movie would be better if he died. Yeah, you know I mean, he wanted to give it a bottom, give uh, it stakes, give yeah. it like like sure. Yeah, 
here's the serious but, tones of it, and this is why things are so important yeah. of what's going on. Ultimately, there's, I think, not just because of Jedi, but ultimately there's a lot of really good reasons why he's alive still, you know, when it, you consider some of the new stuff that comes out. So mm-hmm. glad they did what they did. Yeah, me too. Mm-hmm. And it plays out in the story very well, and, I mean, Return of the Jedi, the reason they got to go to Jabba's Palace, all that stuff works out so, f- it's so fun, I enjoy that whole, yeah. whole segment. And it's still, like, a pretty dark end at the end of all this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Without him dying. I, yeah. And I, I think one of my, like, one of my reasons this is kind of, like, my least favorite is that it's not a resolved movie, you know? It ends very cliffhangery, and we need more next, you know? So not a big fan of Halo 2, then. Whereas, like, you know, episode <laughs> 4 and episode 6, they end, and they have, like, endings. You well, could be 6 like, is informed, though, by this. It doesn't, 6 doesn't have a beginning. I mean, 6 has a beginning. The beginning is we're going to go find Han and stuff like that, too, you know? Like it's, yeah, but who's Han if you haven't seen 5 and 4? I mean, I'm not saying it's a standalone movie. I'm yeah. just saying, like, Empire Strikes Back does not end on an ending, you know? So I think that's a lot of why, for me, Empire Strikes Back was kind of like, I don't know, it's not my favorite. Like, I love the resolution of 4, and I love the resolution of 6 and everything, too. My and favorite this one endings being like, are the ones that aren't wrapped up, though. I thought, yes. you loved, I, thought you hate, I thought you didn't like it because Rick loved it. So you think it's <laughs> worse because it doesn't have a proper ending? No, I was saying, like, I think one of the reasons why, like, this was never my favorite mm-hmm. is it, ha- it, like, Rick was saying about how it kind of has that darker tone to it and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you know, it ends and it's not a happy ending. There's, you know, it's not over. We're missing Han. Yeah. You know, Luke's lost his hand and stuff. Look at this but, fucking like, idiot, this fool. With episode four and episode six, like, I mean, six is a little bit more happier. You get a happy ending, of course, and everything. In episode four, you kind of... They both have resolutions. Six and I think, is bittersweet. Like, and, and I think four is a, happy. I think. I think as a kid, I was like, "Oh man, I love you know, I love these because it's in the, my good guys won." And this one was a little bit more darker toned. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's. I think I have a similar idea with uh, uh, Indiana Jones, where Temple of Doom was not my favorite. Sure. I think it's because it had more darker tones to it, wh- rather than I had fun yeah. as a kid watching the other two. You know, especially my favorite of that one was uh, Last Crusade. Mm-hmm. It was just more fun. I enjoyed Sean Connery being there. And oh, I love The Last Crusade. That's my favorite. I think a lot of, like, why this one isn't my favorite is because as a kid, it was darker and, you know, scarier and, you know, that, yeah, that kind of idea, you know? The exact reasons I think I like it more, I think. Yeah. I'm worried about what you're going to think of Zerk. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm relating to the, my nostalgia as a kid and what, like, sure. as a kid, I'm like, man, sure. I enjoy watching Return of the Jedi so much more. It's fun. I have fun watching it. Empire Strikes Back is dark, and I don't like it as much, <laughs> you know, like. I just, yeah, I can't. I can't. You're going on a path, a path I can't follow. Well, no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I would never say Empire Strikes Back is a bad movie because yeah. of those things. No. I'm saying to me, those are my favorite because of nostalgia as a child. I, yeah. I, I not as a grown adult who can appreciate a good story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will say one of the things about that I love about this movie is because of all the interesting things you find out about Vader. Also, look, look at this shot. In, in the, the next movie, man. you know. Mm. Like, Vader's ending story in Return of the Jedi makes this movie better as well. Yeah, I mean, all of them are informing each other of characters and their plot and their arc and everything. So, I mean, you need all of them to be your solid story, you know? Mm -hmm. You can't just go with, like, well, I'm going to watch Empire Strikes Back and that's all there is. Like, what? See, the blue, the blue lightsaber in this shot, I think, is some of the best blue I've ever seen. But that shot, no. Right. It's only the shot with its backlit and the silhouettes that I think is the best looking. Why did, why did they change it? Just because they needed to make well, it stand out a because, bit more to the I mean, backlight? It, it just, like, they do not have the software we have today where you can just do whatever. Like, you, ha- there's like only, only certain ways you can you can color this thing and make it look real, you know? And they could have rewrote it. Between, well, <laughs> now, I mean, there's people that have done it now and it looks amazing. Sure, I'm just saying, like, in all the remastering yeah. that they've done, they could have rewrote it. I don't know it. why they won't do it. Is there, like, long-range transmitters in those helmets where you can, like, hey, we're getting jumped? I mean... Oh, you mean the, uh, the stormtrooper storm helmets? Yeah. I think they have to be like patched in and stuff. If he was really mad, he'd be dead instantly. Yeah. <laughs> he, he did just help. Why are you gonna choke him now? Yeah, I kind of feel that way a little I bit. Love He's still angry at him. <laughs> Three percent. No, trust him. Trust him. <laughs> Thanking God that you know now you're free. Ah. <sighs> Don't even know how to pronounce his name. If they didn't <laughs> spend time choking him, they might have got him. Yeah. The movies go back and forth so many times between a Han and a Han sound. Yeah. Well, Lando especially. Well, even Leia earlier in the movie, she said Han. Yeah, mm-hmm. in the prison. Yeah. But, like, they back and forth between it a lot. Look at that. 
this was one of the most difficult replacements because that was just a wall. Mm -hmm. yeah. They took the wall out, rotored them, and added a reflection. Yeah. You know? Uh, it's so pretty now, yeah. you know? Which it kind of seems a little weird when they were on this balcony, and then the next shot, there's like this just this dark corridor yeah. kind of, or I guess light corridor, but still. But like. But I love the covered. outside. Opening it all up, making it pretty. I thought they should have been lit a little different there, ru running through there. No, I thought it looked good. Where did the stormtrooper go? Oh, the stormtrooper and those had already left. Where's They're right there. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> they walked and turned around. What the hell? Yeah. Where are we in Empire? I'm trying to think where Dash is right now. <laughs> oh, in Shadows of the Empire? Yeah, I'm trying to think of at this point like where Dash is. Um, so I'm trying to remember the way the game went. You go to Hoth and you go into that trash planet. He's and probably you... on... Like, not Raxus. Um... I think he's probably doing the IG-88 stuff, right? The trash stuff? Because, like, it's... Yeah, because it's right whenever Vader has given the order I to I guess it makes sense because the bounty hunters are looking for them, yeah. so that could be... Doesn't he talk to, like, Han and Leia in that, in that section, though? Mm -hmm. How is Luke? But a lot of it takes place after this movie. Yeah, oh, yeah, a lot of the yeah. game takes place during, like, Return oh, of the Jedi. Oh, too easy, so. he says. It's very Anakin. Yeah. Oh, that, that force jump, so man, so fast. good. Yeah, yeah. And that's the first. That's the first time I've seen a force jump, right? Yep, yep. Or a force movement, right? I don't think we had a force yeah. movement at all. Though. Yeah. He's like trying to get his legs and shit. Impressive, most impressive. I thought the first thing was more impressive exactly. than climbing up higher. <laughs> ah! I think Maybe still, he was. I think he's still talking about it. Yeah, he's still talking about it. The same way he like already flipped the switches and everything yeah. like that and looking. I was like, wow, I man, he can really hold on to those hoses. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's like he jumps like wow, impressive. And he's like climbing like most impressive now. Well, I mean, Vader doesn't have that strength anymore. <laughs> You'd be surprised. He's all burned away. You would be surprised. That, this segment Rick. right here is one of the best parts of this fight, and they they're too close on it. Ooh, I missed the old yell. No, it's the same yell. Is it? You're talking about when he gets hit with the oh, lightsaber yeah. later and he goes, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> He says something weird, yeah. Yeah. Or maybe it's when he's kicked. He's kicked and he flies. Yeah. Uh, like, he like flips over. Yeah. That's, yeah. An, uh, ah. that's in Return of the Jedi. Okay. But there's a, there's a really good yell when he gets hit in the shoulder here. So when he fell, what happened here? <laughs> he's fucking scurrying he off. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> 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 right, 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 right. He grievous. Yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. All right. All right. We're going to go down this walk door. Walk all the way up here. I'm going to start throwing shit. <laughs> He's going to go out there, and then I'm going to go up there, and I'm going to tell him. <laughs> this set is so much better than anything yeah. we've seen in the last movie, you know? It's huge. Oh, it's it's so expansive. Mm. It I just, love how he already has his saber yeah. ignited, and he's just I, waiting. I just find it so funny from the point of him falling to be like, all right, hurry, hurry, run, yeah. run through this dark corridor, turn him off, make sure we, we're ready. Uh, this version of the Imperial March is so good. Especially with the like percussion in the back, yeah, uh, the low bass. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. Ooh. Dun -dun -dun. Focus, Luke. Wait, you're not even trying. It's not there anymore. It's, it's pitch Dude, it already. hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it looks way more painful than our cardboard boxes. Yeah, that always drove Peter's me. Peter's like, oh shit, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> that always drove me crazy. Because I was always thinking about, like, like it hit him in the back. He's like, yeah. now you're swinging. No, don't swing now. Where's the next one? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Man. Oh, yeah. Guys. Like that nerf Dead. fight. Dead as fuck. <laughs> They're stepping over his body. Yeah. He's like, leave him. I, it'd be funny to like add in like voice of the stormtroopers being like jam yeah. <laughs> you know? oh my god she got him yeah. I'll get you bitch <laughs> <laughs> that would be good I like that Dude, who changed the security the codes uh, R2 obviously adding in seeing all those people there mm -hmm. so it was yeah. really good yeah this way all right, ice cream guy has to be coming up at some point here. Yeah, I never saw this either, really, or noticed it. I saw, I've seen the cosplay. Right there, there's right him. There. Okay. Did you see him? Yeah, that's there him. Was. Okay. With, the, with the with the mustache and the slick back hair and the it's ice like cream. Like an ice thing. cream maker. Yeah, it's like an ice yeah. cream maker. Okay. 
But yeah, at yeah. Celebration, I don't know if you saw it, there was like 50 of those guys. They would get together and they would walk around. They had like a parade. Yeah, they like this ice cream maker dude. They went up and down the escalators. You were lost. like 15 minutes. I definitely remember it from last Celebration before last. They had it this time, I think they had it too. Yeah, they definitely had it this time. But like that guy, like, is on there for two seconds, <laughs> like twenty-four frames, maybe forty-eight frames. I don't know. <laughs> but people were like, "Up, oh, that's changed their lives." That's who I identify with most. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. In the Star Wars yeah. universe. Hey, he's <laughs> escaping the city and he's keeping his ice cream. I like. Maker. I think he ransacked it. Is what I, I think. Love, <laughs> he's like a looting. He's a looter. He's looting. Rick, I tell you, if I were gonna come away to put all my stuff in storage. <laughs> Yeah. I love R2 like setting a smoke screen there. Yeah, yeah. it's so good. His flamethrower might have been more effective. And it's playing the love Oil theme slick. too of uh, of Lei and Han, you know, because this is show how, <laughs> like, <laughs> like is at this moment that Leia's is like, I love this dude, you know. Yeah, because yeah. she already said it, you know. Mm -hmm. And all the moments they actually had, they were fighting. One thing she said just. You know why she thinks her performance is so good because she loved Harrison Ford at the time. You yeah. know, it's really cool to think about. She could try acting. Nah. Well, it works when you love it. It works too. It works so well though. She's a method. She don't have she to act. Didn't, she didn't have to act. Yeah. Method actor. <laughs> 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 and he was he was always so cold, <laughs> just like Dude, how he would be. You in know? the Jedi Outcast game, <coughs> you you're on Bespin and you go to this spot and you have a, a fight with this Reborn, which is like this new version of like Dark Side user. It's the most epic shit. It's so amazing. Dude, to that fight. that place there, like when it zoomed out, yeah. like that weird, like fin, like with the thing, yeah, yeah, it's so cool looking. Oh, dude! No, I love I it. Yeah. Vader turned off his, his breathing, breathing yeah. at that yep. point. Like, was he planning on killing him there? <laughs> I thought he was trying to turn him. Well, if he kills him, he might have been worthy hey, anyways. Cut off a couple, cut, cut off his arms, so he'll still be fine. I'll just get yeah. him some yeah. wine. He's w See, a wild man here, dude. I, I, I really like, love it. I like the love fight it. in this segment yeah. here a lot. It's a good fight. If they had just like gonna sweep like in front of them down uh, the whole thing would have fallen yeah. off I, I love the burst of sparks when they hit well I love like if you watch them too you can see they're broken you know yeah. they've been cut it's not just they bounced off and Dude. Dude. okay here comes the shoulder hit just... <laughs> no, that's not... uh -oh. Oh. I love I love the hit over and then up yep. yeah you, you can't do that with a conventional sword you know Lightsaber's not bright enough. And it's off now. You'd have it off, too, so you didn't have to remember that shit. Yep. Where was the sound? I didn't hear it go, Shh. It's, it's just weird. So, how many people knew about this secret? Do you guys know? Always. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I've never been surprised by it. No, no how many I people mean, people how many knew people about, knew about, about it during, during Nobody. creation? Nobody. Yeah. Uh, five. Five. five people yeah. knew. Okay. I, I, say I couldn't name them. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I knew a couple but, uh, people. Knew, Mark know. didn't know until they shot it. He knew just before just shooting before. it. Just before. Yeah, and, da and David Prowse or, uh, or whoever. David Prowse did not know. He did yeah, not yeah, know. What I'm saying is like he was like wondering, what the hell is he screaming no for? Yeah. Well, like, everyone was like, why is he, he so upset? He didn't find out until the release. Yeah. David didn't. Yeah. And he was upset. And he was he had some like, I would have had different physical acting had I known. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. what would you have done different? It worked fine. We can't so, see your face. Yeah. Do you, do you guys know what David Prowse was told to say on Obi -Wan set? Obi-Wan killed your father. Obi-Wan killed your father. The, uh, so but, what's he saying here, though? Well, no. I mean, he's saying all those things. It's just that's the only thing that's changed. But they told Mark Hamill right before they shot it. So yeah. David Prowse is like, man, he really cares. Yeah. 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 You know? He cared about Obi-Wan a lot. Like, it's kind of a weird note to talk about your mentor killing your father. But yeah. the people who knew were George, of course. Yep. Because he created the idea. The director. Irvin. Irvin Kirshner. Um, Kasdan. Yep. Uh, Michael. Not Michael. Uh, yeah. John Kasdan. Yeah. Is John Kasdan? Yeah. John and Michael Kasdan. Um, so Mike. Kasdan knew. Uh, Mark Hamill knew just before. Yeah. And the last person who knew was of course, James Earl Jones. Of course. James Earl Jones. Yeah. Who had to read the line. So. <laughs> yeah. It's not John. John Kazan's his son. L Lawrence Kazan. Lawrence, Lawrence. And then John is his son that yeah. helped yeah. on Solo. Yeah. Lawrence Kazan. This is kind of funny looking. <laughs> you know, yeah. in the That's special funny. edition, he actually screamed yeah. as he fell. Like, so in the original, he didn't scream. In the special edition, he screamed. And in the Blu-ray, they took the scream out. Yeah. Because he used to sound exactly like the Emperor as the Emperor was falling with like the, yeah! Yeah, that kind of thing. I, I was like, scream. "Why would they do the scream?" Like he did that on purpose. He's, yeah. he's sacrificing himself so he doesn't go dark. You know? Yeah, but you still might be like, "Fuck!" Yeah, <laughs> you know. What I, mean? I made a terrible decision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I mean, look, he gets here now. He's like trying to climb back up one hand. Yeah. You know, it'd be terrible. Like right, right when this closes, I'd be like, "Fuck, oh, yeah, I know." Because <laughs> I can get up there, I might be all right. But yeah, but like it's just a hole coming straight down. And you, you don't know? Like, have what do you do? a hand recently dehanded. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. You gotta be in and shock. It fucking hurts. Like, could you imagine that? You don't have a hand. You're trying to hold on to this like pole and reach up for that thing. I had 10 I mean, more hands. I couldn't do it. <laughs> you you still got the crook of your elbow, so you could still use it as like a hand. Did this thing. fall here? Yeah, it's, it's scary, so scary. Man. Yeah. Oh! His hand just hanging there? Or his arm? <laughs> his handless arm? <laughs> his no hand hanging there? Yeah. Man, it'd be terrible. He's trying to visualize her. Mark Hamill did like all of his stunts too, except for, uh, what was it? I think it's like whenever he flew out that window. Mm. Uh, from uh, Vader but it's it? almost like here they you know because George always says I knew they were going to be siblings it's like almost right here there's like it's one of the arguments like oh he's connecting well, with his sister she can sense him and no one else can you know that sound uh, honestly to me that sounds like a happy coincidence that it's like yeah you know what that kind of works yeah I always knew <laughs> you yeah. know yeah well the other thing you could have been saying was like there is another maybe he was planning on Leia being another force user maybe not being a sister yeah you and know? I don't think there was any incest in Flash Gordon I love that line. That line is the best line he has says. It's it. a new line too. I know, but like the I way my he star says destroyer it. to prepare I for my, my star destroyer to prepare for my arrival. Like, you gotta <laughs> learn him to even prepare. <laughs> they gotta line up, you know what I mean? <laughs> God damn, he's coming back. <laughs> yeah. Didn't they He add doesn't even look at us. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't a lot of Vader like getting onto his ship and everything they added in? Yeah. During uh Yeah. yeah. Cause like it just was like, hey, I need help, and they were like, okay, and they came and helped, yeah. and all this is new. All right? this is new, like him getting, he, he will get off his ship here, and that will be uh, alternate shots from Return of the Jedi. What did that used to look like? That's not the same, not as pretty. No, this always looked this like this. Okay. Yeah. He used to just say, "Ready my ship," right? Yeah. This stuff all looked the same. Uh, it was just all the Vader stuff is new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They just didn't cut to that that much. You just stuck with this pretty much the whole time. Yeah. I love the practical, make sure he saves himself in case he falls thing. Man, that would hurt. Yeah, Fuck it would. Yeah. Even if you caught How catch me? It hurt Lando, too. Like, catch oh, me, Jesus, I was just going to get you. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wait, Lando goes, wait, 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 wait. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't even know you. Man. See what it did to his face. Luke had some shit this movie. Like, yeah. How do you wipe his ass on Dagobah? That's what I want to know. Probably some kind of leaf. Yeah, some shitty leaves, man. Yeah, like you can get like a fuzzy leaf. Yeah. R2 is going to get a rash. He had a little spray gun. Maybe. I bet like you like bends over R2 just does like the fucking Japanese toilet thing. They probably ass. got some <laughs> kind of thing <laughs> yeah. in the, like the X-Wing like like survival kit. Yeah. See, they're, they've been alerted. Now they're waiting. So this is an alternate take from Return, from Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Because I think it's Moff Gergerod that's like in front of him there, but we don't really see him. Yeah. Yeah, they cut out his line. Yeah, he, yeah, he mouths something. Yep. Little kiss there. Oh, look That's at that! Look shot. at that! That's, That's a great shot. <laughs> That's, That's a, a super dars. That sure reminds me of like a Ridley Scott alien shot. Yeah. Because it's green. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, it looks like the front of Alien Isolation, like the card cover, uh, cover art. I love. I just love that Lando just gets into that seat, knows what to do, and then, damn it, Han. <laughs> well, his chick's here too. Yeah. Now, now that we know. Well, I wonder yeah. if this is the first time he's seen it like this too. Yeah. You know, maybe. Uh, like he must be devastated, right? Like, it's, where's the bar? You <laughs> fucked up my car. You know, where's basically. The, where's my cape closet? Yeah. Where's the cape closet? Good. When this guy fails, <laughs> I thought that felt like, and he they get away, and Vader's like looking, and the guy's like, "Oh my god, he's <laughs> been killing motherfuckers all movie." Yeah, I'm definitely gonna die, and the Vader just turns away and walks. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. So I wonder what was the reason for that. Just I think because he knew it wasn't I his think, fault. I think he's right. Dar Darth Vader, I think, is just kind of like an emotional turmoil a little bit. Yeah. Being like, man. Oh, I thought that was gonna work. Yeah, and I'm like, well, I'm maybe, and also kind of like, maybe I'm proud of him. 
But it's not maybe Luke. it's not Luke though. It's Lando. Maybe that too. No, no. But, I mean, he's he wants Luke right now. He's going for Luke. Yeah, but it's not like Luke outsmart him here. No, I, th- I what I'm saying is I think but, that he's still in the mindset that he just had a duel with his right son. Here. Oh, but his fate over here looks amazing, by the way. Oh yeah, but he just had a duel with his son. Yeah, and he's kind of like out of it. He's like, I can't believe this guy had the fortitude to kill himself. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know, there might be a, like a little bit of Jedi pride in there. Maybe, maybe, yeah. So I think that he has too much on his mind. He forgets to kill. He just he just starts hitting his shit. Yep. Uh, like I love that Russian guy in Armageddon. You know? I love flying along the Super Star Destroyer right here. Just like. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> like he looks so good. I know, man. The lighting in, in this movie is unparalleled. He just like polished looking. Even it's like a car commercial. Even Rogue One doesn't get it right. There's like a fade of frame. Well, Rogue uh, One's trying to look like Episode Four. Ah, uh, there's like a frame of like fading in. Yeah. Yep. Well. There is. Yeah, it's like real quick, right? Mm-hmm. Just to show that connection versus the hard line, you know. This is Piet, right? This uh, the guy that fails here, but is spared. Mm-hmm. I think it's Piet. Because he's the guy from Return of the Jedi that eventually yeah. goes down in the Super Star Destroyer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, yeah. I it's think it's Piet. the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> Delusion of grandeur. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just take off. <laughs> That's so risky. Chewie's still down in that hole? Did he land on Chewie? Yeah. This, this guy's like, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I also kind of feel like there's nothing he could have done. Well, like the other guys were just incompetent. I, l- I love you know? Vader. Like, he's looking. He turns. He looks back, yeah. you know, like, no, damn I mean, it, they I, are gone. I truly... He th- glances over at Pat he does. when he's walking across. I, yeah, I don't think it's a matter of I'm sparing you because it's not your fault. I think he's just too... Like, he's in his head. Sure. Yeah. You know? And he damn. probably also wants to talk to the Emperor. Say, yeah. hey, my plan failed. You got anything else? He's, 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 he's not going to say that. I love... <laughs> until the Emperor confronts him. I love some of these ships. Yep. The Rebel Fleet. Mine's the, episode, uh, the prequels a little bit, too. Yeah. The those big old round things, this this giant, whatever that is. Yeah, those are the, you know? yeah that's Corellian, I think, that thing. And then those ships are the transport ships from Hoth. Yeah. But And then episode six, we'll get the Mon Cal ships. They're not here yet. Han. He took Han's clothes. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yep. yeah, he's wearing what's in the closet right now. <laughs> what's I mean, left of the he's closet? Like, oh my, my capes are gone. I gotta yeah. wear this. I bet you that medical droid is tired of seeing Luke. Man, we lost two hands this Here, time. You motherfucker! You like that? You like, like that? The sense of skin's kind of cool. They didn't have that technology yet. In I the, love the pre in the prequels. I love seeing like as it does stuff. Seeing the little like yeah. flickers inside there of like it's yeah. working. Little pistons. Yeah, you stuff. can see yeah. like, oh, that's how it works. Look at it. Things are moving and doing things. Well, I wonder what Anakin thought cutting his hand off. Mm-hmm. You know. Making him know. more like me. Yeah. And that happens. Right now. <laughs> I think. What? I had my, my version of Empire, my original one was like recorded and I remember it cut off during them staring oh, out, no, maybe it's maybe terrible. maybe. No wonder you hated it. Maybe it was. <laughs> well, I mean, it wasn't much more cut off. I, I know they were just staring out the window, and I, we never panned back and see the yeah. ship fly away. Maybe it was right here, but I never got to the end with the credits. I never had any of that. It just this just all right, a, movie's over. Yeah, I didn't get any yeah, of this. This is yeah. This is a lot more. See them there. I mean, that, it's a very you know what it is. It's a Clone Wars ending shot, like when they were looking at that nebula. Yeah, yeah. Because it always kind of like builds up music, and then and the Clone Wars ends. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Clone Wars is an Empire Strikes Back shot. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> I know, I know. But I honestly, there's been so many more of those kind sure. of shots in the Clone Wars. You know. All right. Okay. Well, yeah, that was the fifth, and it's been a while since we've done Star Wars. It has right? been. Yeah. I think it was the feels first, good. It was the first one we did. Yeah, we did the we did uh, episode yeah. four, the very first one, mm-hmm. and then I think we had Iron Man, and then we went into some others. Then we yep. got stuck on it. Lord of the Rings, and <laughs> we had the <to laughs> privilege of it. Aaron. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Lord of the Rings is great. No, they were fun. It was good to go through yeah. those. I haven't seen yeah. those in years. Lord so. of the Rings is great, but th- they're long to do commentaries. They are. Mm-hmm. They really are. I mean, I I loved it, but sometimes you're like. You gotta do that at some time, <laughs> point in your work day. You yeah, know? that means you're not doing other stuff. You know. Yeah, yeah. But no, coming back and seeing Star Wars and stuff, especially with you guys, and is is a lot of fun. Oh, and yeah. I like, I really wanted like, to go through all these and see like 
Solo and see like Rogue One and be able to yeah. talk about all those kind of things. So you and haven't rewatched Solo? I've seen it a couple of times, okay. but I haven't watched it a ton. Sure. It and I, ha- I don't think I've gone back through and watched the original trilogy since I've seen Solo. So okay. It's very. It'd be very different, yeah. like seeing and like I love seeing Lando here and then comparing mm-hmm. it to what I saw of Lando and Solo yeah. and stuff. And I think it'd be fun, like seeing that and then going back and doing the opposite. You know, I <laughs> can't wait till we get to the prequels. The prequels. <laughs> I think I it's am, gonna be very interesting. I love the prequels. I, I will have a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, I think yeah. it'd be fun to hear, yeah, all the sides of it and stuff. Or Clive Rogue. Rivel, voice of Emperor. He's still in the cast, even though they've since replaced him. Hmm. Really? Yep. Because just through you know the way that this was done like he would you know he still worked on it did they he add still, did they add in ian i think at one point I, they have I didn't like see. they have credits just for the uh releases of the right. special editions and stuff gotcha so and uh ian he wasn't a special edition that was blu-ray mm-hmm. edition yeah yeah because they did the special edition like in the 90s mm-hmm. right. and then uh the blu-ray edition was after uh, episode three right yeah it was yeah. Much later after, yeah, yeah, because yeah, it came out. It was like a, it was like what four years? Yeah, like three, they just, three, four they years just ago. Had him in uh, makeup from episode three. He's like, hey, can you say these lines? Action. He, he's like, <laughs> yeah, the son of Skywalker. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's saying, you know. Yeah, that wasn't in the original lines. Yeah, too. no, it, it something changed. else. Yeah. I fucking love these movies, man. Yep, me too, man. It's great stuff. I'm excited for the next and one. Hopefully, one uh, of the best fights. Hopefully, the people over at Patreon will will vote. For the next one, but they have options, so we'll see. They yeah. control our destiny. They do. There's a lot of good options yeah. over there. So make sure you guys go vote over there. But uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this commentary. I know mm-hmm. we didn't talk about all the cool things with Star Wars, but we have more Star Wars movies to talk about. More cool Star Star yep. Wars things. So and remember, we gotta get Indeed. Rick through these, and we gotta see seven and eight before nine comes out. So yeah. help us do that. And those would be reactions for Rick. Yeah, those would oh, be reactions. Yeah. See Rick react so. to seven and eight. Yeah. Then, then after those, we'll do commentary talking about them again. Oh my God. <laughs> double the content. Woo. Double the fun. Double All the right. f- double trouble. <laughs> <laughs> double bubble. All right. Anyone <laughs> have anything else we want to talk about for Star Wars for Empire Strikes Back? Or? Nope. All nope. righty. Nope. Well, guys, I guess that's it. We'll see you guys in the next movie reaction it or commentary. Is your destiny. Bye bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more movie commentaries, more movie reactions, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any. Also, make sure you go over to Patreon where there's the polls and you can vote in the next reactions, the next commentaries, and you can see the next reaction right now already up. Make sure you guys do that. We'll see you guys next time.